Chapter 2461 Ensemble of Heroes Fights the Corrupt King Translator Born to be what Tian Zizi was shocked. This skeleton's aura was something that even frightened him. It was clearly a terrifying existence above the Nether Passage realm. He hastily retreated and threw the bone spear at the skeleton. He didn't dare to keep hold of it, afraid that the backlash could kill him. Despite his arrogance, Tian Zizi didn't dare to challenge an existence above the Nether Passage realm. He could only retreat. The bone spear was blown back. Amidst a storm of broken space, the wind blade exploded, unleashing a chi wave that sent Tian Zizi flying. However, a sharp light appeared in his eyes. He grabbed his bone spear. So it's nothing more than a rotten corpse. It won't change your fate of being killed today. With this one attack, Tian Zizi realized that this skeleton was something that had existed for countless years. It had less than a tenth of its original power left. So any fear he had just vanished. However, just at that moment, Long Chen appeared in front of him. Lightning covered his entire body, and he stabbed a giant lightning spear at Tian Zizi. At the same time, a sea of lightning poured out behind him, and millions of lightning spears shot out of it. Tian Zizi swung his spear, unleashing a wave of blood-colored light that shattered the lightning spears. As soon as he shattered Long Chen's attack, his spear moved to perfectly block Wild's bone club. However, Wild's pure physical power ignored all laws and sent him flying again. The giant skeleton that Meng Chi was controlling attacked once more, forcing Tian Zizi back again. Suddenly, a blood-colored figure streaked across the battlefield. Two of its sabers hacked toward Tian Zizi. Tian Zizi instantly realized that it was Guo Ran in his armor. Die. Tian Zizi was infuriated. Guo Ran was nothing more than an insignificant character to him. For him to come at him now was an insult. What shocked him though was that his full strength attack merely sent Guo Ran flying. He wasn't injured at all. Hence, Tian Zizi looked down to see that the dragon blood warriors had their hands clasped together and seemed to be in a state of meditation. Their power was flowing into Guo Ran. Tian Zizi quickly decided that his first target had to be the dragon blood warriors. Not only would that cut off Guo Ran's support but it would definitely cause panic amongst his enemies. However, his body had just moved when two cold rays of sword chi slashed down at him. One of them contained such a cold ice energy that it froze the space around him. Yi's Hikyu and Yu Zifeng were attacking at the same time. Corrupt blood seal. Tian Zizi blocked Yu Zifeng's sword chi with his spear, while his left hand formed a seal, causing runes to condense into another blood spear that struck Yi's Hikyu's sword chi. Yi's Hikyu's attack contained such terrifying ice energy that he didn't dare to touch it directly. If that ice chi invaded his body, it would slow down his movements. Even in the Samsara realm, he didn't dare to risk it. Both rays of sword chi exploded and ice crystals hung in the air like diamond dust. As the dust settled, it revealed a long bloody cut on Tian Zizi's cheek. His eyes were full of astonishment and fury. He had clearly blocked Yu Zifeng's attack but some kind of invisible power had still continued straight toward his head. If he hadn't reacted fast enough, that attack might have killed him. Yu Zifeng's sword chi contained a power similar to a law, and it had almost taken his life. Despite reacting so quickly, he was still left with a deep cut on his face. It was possible to see bone through that wound. His blood poured out as he was unable to heal it. At this moment, Long Chen, Meng Chi, Chu Yao, Wild, Tang Wan'er, and the others' attacks rained down on him. Yu Zifeng, Yi's Hikyu, and Guo Ran prepared to unleash more attacks as well. Lightning flashed through the air, and spear images tore through the void. Long Chen's lightning disturbed the surrounding space, giving others chances to launch their own attacks. His lightning was capable of blocking Tian Zizi's sight and divine sense, slowing down his reactions. Because of this, Meng Chi, Yu Zifeng, Yi's Hikyu, and the others could unleash their long-distance attacks. Only Wild, Guo Ran, and Meng Qi's beast corpse could fight Tian Zizi at close range. They managed to tie him down. As Tian Zizi blocked their attacks from all directions, he sneered. The mighty Long Chen is actually hiding amongst the crowd and launching sneak attacks? Ha ha ha, who would have thought that you would fall to this point? Even facing everyone, Tian Zizi was able to remain undefeated. His manifestation was quivering, 
unleashing a faint bloody mist that slowly covered the entire battlefield. As the battle grew more intense, no one noticed this phenomenon. Idiot. If my boss was in the same realm as you, my boss would beat you until you cried, sneered Guo Ran, even as he was blown back by an attack from Tian Zizi. Inside his armor, Guo Ran coughed up a mouthful of blood. However, this was nothing to him, and he instantly recovered. In truth, he had coughed up far more blood during this battle, but the armor made it so that others didn't notice. They still thought that he was completely fine, making him seem stronger than he was. Although he was currently supported by the power of the Dragonblood Warriors, it was mainly focused on his attacks. If he had to switch it to defense, it would cause a lag every time and weaken it. So Guo Ran was mostly using his armor to endure Tian Zizi's attacks, while using the Dragonblood Warrior's power for offense. If it wasn't because he had no other choice, he wouldn't be fighting at such close range. It was only because Wild on his own couldn't bear this burden that he was taking such a risk. Tian Zizi is extremely powerful. A portion of our power is being erased by his Samsara energy. Only Yu Zifeng and Yi Zhiki whose attacks are able to pose a danger to his life. My Bone Beast's power is still too weak without its flesh. It cannot threaten Tian Zizi's life. Cloud, we'll give you a chance. Use your divine ability to restrain Tian Zizi so Yu Zifeng and Yi Zhiki who have a chance to attack. Men Chi transmitted a strategy to everyone. She found that her own spiritual attacks were absorbed by Tian Zizi's manifestation. The divine statue was absorbing her attacks, making her uneasy. She was worried that her attacks were becoming nourishment for the statue. Right now, the only ones capable of breaking through Tian Zizi's Samsara energy were Yu Zifeng and Yi Zhikyu. However, most of his attention was locked onto them, preventing them from attacking effectively. Tian Zizi took advantage of that, forcing the two of them to defend whenever he attacked allowing him to gradually take control of the tempo of the battlefield. Tian Zizi unleashed three consecutive attacks at Yu Zifeng, sweeping away the opposition. He finally arrived in front of him and raised his spear. However, a line of black light containing the aura of annihilation suddenly shot toward Tian Zizi without any warning. Tian Zizi hastily blocked, only to have his arm vanish. How regretful Meng Chi and the other side, by working together. They had created the optimal chance for Cloud to attack, but Tian Zizi was just too powerful. Despite this attack coming without any sound, he still managed to avoid a fatal injury. Courting death, Tian Zizi furiously glared at Cloud. The surprises were coming one after the other. Wild, Meng Chi, Guo Ran, Yu Zifeng, Yi Zhikyu, and the others had completely surpassed his expectations. He thought that he would be able to easily crush them only to find that it had become a relatively even fight. Despite that, he still felt some satisfaction. Back then, he had joined forces with Kun Pengzi and Di Feng to attack Long Chen, but now Long Chen was forced to attack him with others. He had started secretly recording this. Once he killed Long Chen, he would publicly release this recording. Originally, this recording was perfect, but now he had been repeatedly injured, ruining his splendor. His image of an unrivaled expert was being destroyed. Cloud's attack had been terrifying. If it had hit him in the head, his Samsara power would have been powerless to do anything to it. He would have been killed. Tian Zizi's arm grew back out. The only one capable of leaving lasting wounds on his body was Yu Zifeng. Even Cloud's divine ability was unable to do that. Hence, Tian Zizi continued to attack Yu Zifeng as he was the most threatening one. As long as he killed him. This battle would be his to win. Sword Chi raged through the air. This was a battle of peak monsters. The Martial Heaven Continent's disciples could only stare, let alone them. Even experts like Yi Lingxian, Song Mingguan, and Li Qi were unable to join this battle. Numbers alone were insufficient to handle an expert like Tian Zizi. More numbers would only weaken their overall power. With Cloud's attack failing, Tian Zizi was now on guard and there was no longer a chance for Cloud to attack. Cloud transformed into human form, wielding her original true feather. Chu Yao and Lu Ruiyan controlled the battlefield with Long Chen's lightning. Things gradually fell into a stalemate. No one dared to be the slightest bit careless because that would cost someone's life. 
Having entered the fourth step of the Nether Passage realm, Tian Zizi was incredibly powerful. Suddenly, Tian Zizi let out a cry. He actually tossed his spear aside and clapped his hands together. The world shuddered as bloody light enveloped Menchi and the others. Corrupt King Overlooks the Nine Heavens. Prison. Chapter 2462 Realm Suppression Translator. Born to be the statue within Tian Zizi's manifestation suddenly came to life, forming its own hand seals. The manifestation swept over the world, creating a spherical domain around Long Chen and the others. This domain was a part of Tian Zizi's manifestation. It was like they had been sucked inside of it. Everyone's expression changed. Guo Ran was the first to attempt charging out, but his attack didn't shake the sphere at all. Ha ha ha. Tian Zizi laughed, standing atop the statue. Did you think that I only had this little bit of ability? You're naive. You have no idea just how terrifying a manifestation can be when its true name is called out. You are within my manifestation's domain. Here, I am God and none of you can compete with me. Wild, who either didn't believe him or didn't understand, attacked. His bone club smashed toward Tian Zizi, but the statue moved, smashing a fist at Wild. As a result, Wild's incredibly tough bone club that had never been damaged in battle shattered. Wild, everyone was startled, rushing over. Wild smashed into the wall of the domain and bounced off of it. When he picked himself up, his hands were covered in blood. Crack lines had appeared up to his shoulder. Foolish oath. In this place, your brute power is far from enough. A fully awakened manifestation can unleash world energy through every bit of it. Your world energy can only be released through your body. But my world energy is fully unleashed throughout this entire domain. This domain is my world. Here, I can freely unleash the full power of my astral space and it is no longer limited by my physical body. Can a person's power contend with the power of a world? Tian Zizi swept his gaze across them. Their shocked appearances were extremely satisfactory to him. I bet you never imagined just how much power a manifestation could unleash. Although many of you are talented and have a chance of reaching this level, I won't be giving you that chance. Your lives will end here, said Tian Zizi. Some faint rumbling rang out. It was possible to see Yi Lingxian, Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and the others attacking the barrier. However, their power was unable to break through. They were like grasshoppers jumping into a heavy door. I have just entered the Samsara realm, but unless someone's power can transcend the laws of my manifestation, this barrier will not break. Everyone, it's about time for you to die. I still have more important things to do. Long Chen, so sorry. I'm going to start with your friends. Tian Zizi smiled at Long Chen sinisterly. However, from start to end, Long Chen remained expressionless. Lightning flickered around him, but that lightning was starting to lose its light under Tian Zizi's suppression. It's Guo Ran, right? An ant like you isn't qualified to stand in front of me. I'll kill you first. You can consider it my favor to you. Tian Zizi raised his hand, and a ray of golden light shot out. Dodge. Everyone wanted to stop it, but they were shocked to find that their heavenly Tao energy had been isolated from them. The golden light had reached Guo Ran. Guo Ran summoned the defenses of his armor, only to have the runes on his armor flicker. This armor was designed to work with his heavenly Tao energy. Without it, his armor's power dropped by over half. It's over. A sense of death swamped Guo Ran's heart. Boom. The golden light was shattered by a ray of sword light. Guo Ran tumbled back, his armor growing dim, Zifeng. Everyone was delighted to see Guo Ran alive. The one to save him was Yu Zifeng, but his expression was extremely heavy. The legends say that the sword Dao can stand outside the heavenly Daos on its own. It seems that the legends are true. Tian Zizi looked at Yu Zifeng. Sword cultivators were the most difficult existences to judge in this world. The only one not suppressed by his domain was Yu Zifeng. Tian Zizi then glanced toward the lightning-covered Long Chen and shook his head. Who would have thought that the famous Long Chen would be suppressed to such an extent? But you are still able to move. Well, I don't mind showing you how outmatched you are. Tian Zizi formed new hand seals. After that, the statue released a wave of golden light that enveloped everyone. In that instant, Meng Qi and the others were shocked to find that they could no longer move. 
This is a different kind of heavenly Tao energy, or perhaps it should be called world energy. Within this domain, he is the ruler of the heavenly Daos. Our realms are suppressed. Men Chi transmitted to everyone. On their way here, they had encountered experts in the Samsara realm, and they had killed some of them, but they had never encountered someone with such power. This was a completely suppressive power that they couldn't contend against. Ziffeng, everyone suddenly let out a startled cry. At this moment, Tian Zizi's spear pierced toward Yu Ziffeng. Yu Ziffeng's sword danced before him, blocking seven of Tian Zizi's attacks in a row. However, on the eighth time, his sword shattered. Fragments cut into Yu Ziffeng's body. As he wasn't an Empyrean, he couldn't use Heavenly Dao energy to heal. Adding on the weak bodies of sword cultivators, these wounds, insignificant to others, could be fatal for him. This was Tian Zizi's domain, so Yu Zifeng couldn't even use his life energy to heal here. I really do admire you. You aren't an Empyrean, but by relying on yourself, you were able to reach this level. You might even give me a more threatening feeling than Long Chen, but now I can rest easy. A ray of light enveloped Yu Zifeng making him unable to move either. Yu Zifeng was covered in blood. Watching as Tian Zizi slowly approached him, he didn't show the slightest fear. He just looked at him calmly. Although I admire you, I still have no choice but to kill you. Tian Zizi smiled faintly and pointed his spear at Yu Zifeng's head. He turned to look at Long Chen. Long Chen, I will not return my humiliation to you tenfold. Right in front of you, I will kill everyone by your side. At this moment, the lightning around Long Chen had weakened to the point that it was barely flickering. At some time, even his divine ring had faded. However, his expression was still calm. Have you heard of this saying? Idiots always talk a lot before death. Finally, Long Chen spoke for the first time since entering Tian Zizi's domain. However, as soon as he spoke, Tian Zizi's expression changed. Long Chen's voice was not his voice. It was a synthetic voice of rumbling thunder Noveloon.com having a bad feeling. Tian Zizi directly stabbed his spear toward Yu Zifeng's head. Too late. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Boom. Long Chen's body exploded. And a sinister black saber flew out of him. Evil Moon had actually blown Long Chen up and pierced straight toward Tian Zizi. Tian Zizi was shocked to find that Evil Moon was also able to ignore the laws of his domain. It contained such destructive power that he knew if he was struck, he would definitely die. With his domain unable to bind it, he had no choice but to give up on Yu Zifeng and swing his spear at Evil Moon. However, just as the two weapons were about to meet, Evil Moon vanished. His spear swept through empty air. A figure suddenly appeared in front of him, slapping him in the face. Long Chen, when Tian Zizi stabilized himself in the distance. He saw Long Chen standing beside Yu Zifeng with Evil Moon in his hand. Moreover, as he sensed the life and death energy flowing within Long Chen's body in an endless cycle, he was dumbfounded. Are you surprised? Long Chen swung Evil Moon, causing the void to shatter. The power binding everyone was broken, so Meng Chi and the others regained their freedom. Wild staggered and almost fell. Tian Zizi had given him some special attention binding him with three times the power of the others. Someone else would have been directly pulverized. Wild was like Yu Zifeng in that he didn't need heavenly Tao energy, but his brute power was also suppressed within this domain. After his weapon was broken, he didn't know how to unleash his power. Boss, you succeeded asked Guo Ran delightedly. I finished three breaths time before, but I was finishing up some arrangements. Now, everything is under control. Long Chen turned toward Tian Zizi. Tian Zizi, we can settle all our grudges today. Bring out whatever power you have, or you won't get another chance in the future. Chapter 2463 Corrupt God Underworld Spear Translator Born to be Long Chen was standing within Tian Zizi's domain, but the laws of this domain did not bind him. That was because he had also reached the fourth step of Nether Passage and controlled Samsara power. With a simple slash of Evil Moon, a tear appeared within the domain. Meng Chi and the others understood his intention and retreated from the domain. Yi Lingxian and the others also stopped their attacks. Joining together with them, Meng Chi looked at her skeletal beast and shook her head. She had used up less than half of its energy, so she would be able to summon it one more time. 
After evacuating, everyone focused on the two figures within the domain. Long Chen lightly said, Are you curious? When you saw me summon my lightning, that was no longer me but a lightning clone. That's why all my attacks were focused on long range. This clone didn't have the power to fight you in close range, and I didn't want you to sense anything. Did it feel good to be fighting against so many powerful people at one time? Did it feel so good that you didn't want it to end quickly? Did you want to enjoy that feeling of being unrivaled? Long Chen knew that Tian Zizi was bewildered. His head had been muddled by his own power. Under the attacks of Meng Qi, Chu Yao, Yu Zifeng, Wild, and the others, he had neglected to think about Long Chen. As everyone else had been attacking, Long Chen had entered the life and death spring to absorb its energy. Other people would need to first enter a perfect meditative state, but Long Chen had no need to do so. This spring was a natural location where life and death energy flowed with the essence of Samsara. By absorbing it, Long Chen quickly came to be able to control Samsara power. Other people would need several days to comprehend how to use Samsara power even in the best of times. But Long Chen's mental realm had far surpassed his cultivation base, which always lagged behind. With this spring as a model that showed how Samsara power was circulated, he gained control over it in just a short time. Although he had just set foot in this realm and had yet to fully comprehend it, it was enough. As for his lightning clone, he had intentionally left it within the domain so that he could find the note of the domain, without knowing where that spot was. Entering from the outside was very difficult. After finding it though, entering and exiting became much easier. Tian Zizi's gaze was frightening now. The feeling of unease had grown so intense that it could be considered as a kind of fear now. He didn't know if this fear was a shadow left behind by his previous defeats to Long Chen or whether it came from his sense of danger. It seems that you're very confident, but that confidence stems from foolishness. You've just set foot into the Samsara realm and don't even know how to call out the true name of your manifestation. Oh wait, you aren't even an Empyrean. If you had left with everyone else and joined forces to attack me, perhaps you would have had some chance to win. But you are too foolish. Staying within my manifestations domain signifies that you have died due to your overconfidence. Tian Zizi looked at Long Chen, his spear once more appearing in his hand. Do you know how most of my powerful opponents died? I'll tell you. They died from talking too much. If you weren't so conceited. If you didn't put on a display of overwhelming multiple opponents. If you simply weren't talking so much and instead went all out killing me from the start. Perhaps you wouldn't be dying today. You are so conceited that it's laughable. I'll tell you this. Even if I hadn't entered the fourth step. You would still face a miserable defeat today. However. Even if I could defeat you, I wouldn't have been able to keep you here once you tried to run. Then you would have lived longer. Remember, you died to your talkative mouth, said Long Chen. Bullsh T. Shian Zizi's manifestation shuddered. Divine light filled the entire domain, and pressure crashed down on Long Chen from every direction. That power was many times greater than what had been used to bind Men Qi and the others. In the face of that pressure, Long Chen calmly walked forward. Seemingly unaffected, his divine ring appeared behind him. However, this time, Long Chen's divine ring was different from before. A starry sky had appeared within it. It was like staring into a vast cosmos. It was mysterious and beautiful. If you looked closely, you would find that there were a total of 108,000 stars shining within the divine ring. Those were the astral spaces within Long Chen's body. They were now reflected within his divine ring. Five colored light radiated from the divine ring, dyeing the domain in its color. Your anger comes from your fear. Your shouting is to give yourself courage. Your viciousness conceals the fear of death in your heart. What nonsense is that crap about death being a return to the corrupt God's embrace? Not even you, the divine son, believes that crap. So you are afraid of dying. Your corrupt path is simply a group of idiots lying to themselves. All your fearsomeness is to hide your own fear Long Chen's divine ring continued to radiate light. The immense pressure crashing down on him slowly faded away. Samsara power flowed within his meridians. He knew that he was now in control of an unimaginable power. However, he himself wasn't fully clear on what this power was. When he summoned his divine ring, 
his astral spaces seemed to come to life, automatically linking their power to form this mysterious starry sky. Their power was being fully unleashed. In his current state, he was finally able to fully control the power of his 108.00 astral spaces. Although he didn't have a manifestation, as the power of his astral spaces entered his body, he felt filled with power. He didn't even dare to unleash that full power at once. He unleashed it bit by bit, afraid that his own body wouldn't be able to handle it. Novaloon.com It was no wonder Tianzizi Zizi dared to come here alone. This was the great divide separating the third and fourth steps of Nether Passage. Nonsense. Tian Zizi roared furiously. Long Chen's words had touched upon the deepest part of his heart. He was truly afraid, and that fear was only continuing to grow. He had an urge to turn and flee right now. However, he was unwilling to flee just like this. Long Chen had just set foot into the fourth step and hadn't gotten used to his Samsara power. This was perhaps his final chance to kill him. Now, he regretted not immediately killing Long Chen. Perhaps then Long Chen would be dead. Even with everyone protecting Long Chen, they wouldn't have been able to stop him. Regretfully, there were not so many ifs in this world, nor was there a medicine for regret. Every single one of Long Chen's words was like a poison arrow shooting into the weakest part of his heart, trampling over his dignity and humiliating his faith. With a furious roar, his world energy erupted. Space shuddered as cracks appeared in the air around Long Chen's divine ring. However, even as Tian Zizi attempted to use his domain to crush him, the divine ring was unaffected. Do you need some paper? It looks like you're having trouble shting yourself. Long Chen looked at Tian Zizi's constipated expression sympathetically. Tian Zizi suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. His aura flew into chaos and all the power that he had been concentrating dissipated. Boss really is boss. He can defeat enemies with just his mouth. Which other hero of this world can do that? Guo Ran clenched his fists, looking at Long Chen worshipfully. Those words definitely contained killing power. Meng Qi and the others exchanged a glance, shaking their heads. Even now, Long Chen didn't care about his own status or keeping up the air of an expert. Long Chen, I'll go all out against you. Even as Tian Zizi hacked up blood, he could still roar crazily. The statue behind him suddenly exploded, transforming into blood-colored runes that covered him. It was like he was encased in blood armor. Divine energy raged through the air, and the aura of a god came from Tian Zizi. Some of the weaker disciples had an urge to kneel. He's igniting the part of him that makes him a divine son. Is he trying to die together with senior apprentice brother Long Chen? A startled cry rang out as someone recognized what Tian Zizi was doing. The divine energy raging around Tian Zizi took the form of blazing divine flames. He truly appeared to be a god at this moment. Corrupt King Hell Spear. Tian Zizi's manifestation twisted around his spear. The full power of his manifestation was sucked into his spear. Everyone, hide within the spring, shouted Meng Chi suddenly. Everyone dove beneath the spring water. Die. Tian Zizi furiously unleashed his spear. This attack caused the world to shake. Long Chen casually lifted Evil Moon off of his shoulder with a faint smile. This grand aspiration of yours will probably never come to pass. Chapter 2464 Crushed Translator Born to be facing Tian Zizi's attack, Long Chen raised Evil Moon in front of him and calmly waited for it to land. Endless power was circulating within his body and it came from his 108,000 astral spaces. Upon stepping into the Samsara realm, Long Chen finally understood the essence of the Nether Passage realm. Before this, his astral spaces were like individual blocks contributing a portion of their power to him. But with his new life and death energy, it was like they had been unsealed. Their power united, circulating according to a specific rhythm. It was like they had formed into a formation giving him incalculable power. At this moment, rather than fear, Long Chen felt a thirst for a powerful opponent to test just how strong his new power was. Boom. Tian Zizi's spear smashed into Evil Moon, unleashing an explosion of divine light that destroyed the surroundings. Only the life and death spring seemed protected by some kind of law. The rest of the surrounding space had been wrecked. An aura of destruction continued to hang in the air. Meng Qi and the others were still beneath the spring, not daring to come out. 
They were truly shocked at Tian Zizi's power, but when the twisting space stabilized, they saw Long Chen standing in his original location. He hadn't budged an inch. Heavens, he blocked it. Some disciples snuck their heads out and had to confirm that they weren't just seeing things. Others followed, but they remained ready to dive back at the slightest notice. This spring had become their protective talisman. Ha ha ha, boss really is boss. Tian Zizi's attack can't even rattle him. Guo Ran laughed so arrogantly as if he had been the one to block Tian Zizi's powerful attack. This is impossible, Tian Zizi roared. He hadn't held back in the slightest just now, but Long Chen had easily received it. He refused to believe this. The stars within Long Chen's divine ring were like a vast universe. Tian Zizi felt as if his attack had been launched into that universe and dissipated without causing a ripple. There was definitely something wrong. Why don't you try again? Long Chen nodded along with Tian Zizi's judgment. Tian Zizi furiously attacked once more, causing startled cries to ring out from below. Guo Ran and the others dived back down. Tian Zizi wasn't even accumulating power before unleashing his attack. However, they were startled to find that there was no earth-shaking explosion this time, nor was there furious divine light. There was only a muffled bang before things fell silent. Guo Ran and the others cautiously looked through the water, not daring to stick their heads up again. Tian Zizi stared in shock. His hand trembled. Now this shows that there wasn't a problem. I understand how to use Samsara power to dissipate an opponent's attack now. Long Chen smiled. In the first attack, he had used his life and death energy to block it. At that moment, he had sensed that while a portion was blocked, resulting in a huge explosion. Another portion was absorbed by his Samsara power. In the second attack, he chose not to block it, instead circulating his Samsara power to easily dissipate the attack without the slightest harm. This allowed him to experience the immense difference between the third and fourth steps. Originally, his 108,000 astral spaces hadn't given him the immense advantage he had expected within the Life Star Realm with others only having one astral space. No matter how big they were, they couldn't be bigger than his astral spaces combined. His astral spaces had to be at least ten times greater than other people's. However, he had never felt himself to have such a huge advantage in that regard. It was only now that he felt like he might weep from emotion. The advantage of his 108,000 astral spaces was materializing now. Tian Zizi's full power attack was easily absorbed by his astral spaces without causing a ripple. He wasn't even qualified to injure him. Prepare yourself. It should be my turn now. Long Chen suddenly turned hostile. The stars within his divine ring blazed with light, and a majestic energy soared within Evil Moon. Tian Zizi was sent flying simply by the soaring power, without even raising a hand. Just Long Chen's rising power was enough to blow him back. Tian Zizi was horrified. His power was still locked onto Long Chen. He hadn't loosened his lock in the slightest, but Long Chen had easily knocked him back. Have a taste of my saber Long Chen slashed Evil Moon without any technique. It was a simple slash. However, the world fell silent. Time faded away. As everything else was frozen, only Long Chen's black blade slowly moved through the air. Time? Speed? They were all meaningless. Tian Zizi sensed just how profoundly terrifying this attack was. This attack filled heaven and earth, so there was nowhere to run. The only thing he could do was receive it head on. With a howl, blood-colored runes ignited around his body once more. He raised his spear. Boom. Evil Moon slashed down, seemingly both incredibly slow and fast. There was no mighty hurricane following it, but when it struck Tian Zizi's spear, Evil Moon's power instantly erupted. Tian Zizi's spear exploded and fragmented runes flew out. Those runes were wailing. They were the countless resentful spirits sealed within the spear. Upon obtaining their freedom, they should have been grateful to Long Chen. However, they had been sealed so long that they had lost any rationality. They charged at Long Chen, howling for his life. A dragon's row rang out, and Lai Long devoured those resentful spirits in an instant. With that, the world returned to calm. Revealing Tian Zizi. Tian Zizi's arms were gone, and his entire body looked like fractured porcelain. He was covered in deep cracks. It seemed that he was on the verge of death. 
even while igniting the divine energy of a divine son. Tian Zizi was unable to block a single blow from Long Chen who was in control of Samsara power. Long Chen quickly followed up with another slash of his saber. It was a casual blow once more. Corrupt King Shield. Tian Zizi summoned a giant blood-colored shield, only for it to be instantly shattered. Not even divine energy could stop Long Chen. Despite blocking the attack, the shockwave resulted in Tian Zizi's fractured body exploding. Through the blood, a translucent figure appeared. Long Chen, just wait. With his physical body destroyed, Tian Zizi couldn't fight any longer. A mark appeared on his forehead, and he began to fade away. You're overthinking it. If it wasn't to kill you, do you think I'd take the risk of breaking through? Raging Flame Prison. Long Chen sneered. With no need to form hand seals, flame chains appeared in the air and bound the surrounding space. In that instant, the rest of the world was cut off. This flame prison was not just physical, and Tian Zizi's fading figure returned. Tian Zizi spread his arms, summoning a runic spear. He struck the cage repeatedly but was unable to break through it. I won't make the same mistake twice. That six-horned sea serpent got away last time, but I can make up for it now. This flame prison is now my strongest restraining technique. It will make sure my opponents can't run after being defeated. I was originally planning on using it after injuring you together with my brothers, but I didn't expect that you would be so cooperative as to not even see through my lightning clone. If you had, you would have had a 50% chance of using your divine energy to get away. But now, your physical body is destroyed, and your divine energy is exhausted. You have no chance to run, said Long Chen. Huo Linger was Long Chen's strongest support now. She was the best option for preventing Tian Zizi from getting away. He had known from the start that Tian Zizi had to have many life-protecting talismans. Beating him was easy, but killing him was hard. Tian Zizi's expression was sinister. Blood runes appeared in his hand, and he began to chant a sutra. The blood runes quickly covered his whole body. Long Chen was started and quickly made the flame prison shrink down. Too late, Tian Zizi sneered. When his body was fully covered in blood runes, he flew into the flame chains, his body seeming to melt and pass through. Long Chen, you cost me all the faith energy I was blessed with. Just wait, I swear I will have my vengeance. Just as Tian Zizi was saying some final fateful words, a translucent dagger stabbed through his back and out his chest. The blood runes covering his body rapidly faded. Chapter 2465 Killing Tian Zizi Translator Born to be a small cloaked figure had appeared in midair like a spirit of the night. Dong Mingai raised her head, revealing her faint smile. In this state of divine protection, others can't kill you, but I can. Tian Zizi stared at the dagger piercing through his chest resentfully. He had actually forgotten about Dong Mingai, a divine daughter. He had sacrificed all his divine energy for this temporary state that allowed him to escape the flame prison, only to land in Dong Mingyu's embrace. Although Dong Mingyu had betrayed the blood kill hall, she possessed the power of the killing god, so she was still considered a divine daughter. Of everyone here, she was the only one capable of killing him in this state. Long Chen had a complicated expression as he looked at the motionless Tian Zizi. Now do you understand? Even if I hadn't broken through to the fourth step, we could have still defeated you. When you were exhausted and my flame prison forced out your remaining power, you would have used this technique to flee. You wouldn't be able to escape Mingyu's killing blow, but perhaps you would have managed to turn it into an injury instead of death. Now though, you have no chance. Divine energy flowed out of Dong Mingyu's dagger, fully erasing Tian Zizi's divine energy. His Yuan spirit was now completely out of energy. His world energy had been exhausted. His divine energy had been incinerated. And he no longer possessed the slightest bit of energy to resist. I didn't expect that I would be defeated here. But this time I am convinced by my defeat. In the same realm, I am not worth anything in front of you. Haha, <laughs> perhaps this is fate. Even as a divine son, I'm just a supporting character to set off someone else's brilliance. Tian Zizi's rage faded away, and he became calm. A cluster of flames appeared on his forehead, indicating that his Yuan spirit had been ignited. Knowing that he was definitely dead, 
he chose to incinerate his own Yuan spirit to preserve the slightest bit of dignity for himself. Tell me where you were all going and I will permit you to have a fitting death, said Long Chen. Originally, Long Chen could have done a Saul arc. With Men Chi present, they might be able to gain quite a bit of valuable information, but he chose not to do this. At this moment, Long Chen didn't feel an overwhelming hatred for Tian Zizi. Their enmity was the result of being on opposing sides. They were natural enemies, and there was no right or wrong. This was simply fate. Ha ha ha. Tian Zizi suddenly laughed. Don't force me to do it. Xia Chen's formation is already set up, and Men Chi is prepared, said Long Chen coldly. As he said, Xia Chen had two formation discs in his hand, and Men Chi had her manifestation out, ready to use her spiritual arts at any moment. Tian Zizi shook his head. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at myself. I cannot compare to you in talent, intelligence, and now I'm even inferior in terms of character. Fine. If there is a next life, I hope I won't be your enemy. Perhaps I can even be like your dragon blood warriors and follow by your side. Maybe I won't be confused in the next life. Tian Zizi raised his hand, and a spiritual arrow shot at Long Chen. Long Chen caught it and it exploded. A torrent of information entered Long Chen's mind. Tian Zizi's body suddenly shuddered. He began to dissipate like sand blowing in the wind. He merged into heaven and earth, vanishing. A generation's genius. Someone who had dominated their era. Someone who had been sealed for tens of thousands of years before being awoken. Had died. Even the righteous path's disciples couldn't help sighing. His final words were especially moving. Tian Zizi actually had questions about his belief. He was not completely loyal to the corrupt god, or he wouldn't have said such a thing. Everyone had different experiences. Perhaps Tian Zizi had also gone through things that none of them knew of. However, everyone's experiences were personal to themselves. In the cultivation world, it was unknown just how many people were forced into paths that they didn't choose for themselves. Some choices were made because they had no other options. Even the divine son of the corrupt path was unable to be free. So what of others? Heaven and earth were like a chessboard. While cultivators were nothing more than game pieces. They didn't have a choice about whether they were black pieces or white pieces. He didn't have to die. As long as he swore to remain loyal to the righteous path. We could have accepted him. Said Tang Wanner regretfully. Others also felt a bit of regret. If Tian Zizi had joined their side, even if he was only a Yuan spirit, he would have been a terrifying force. That would also be a serious blow to the corrupt path's morale. Long Chen shook his head. He had his own pride. Even if he wasn't controlled by a divine seed, he wouldn't submit like that. Furthermore, would you really accept someone with so much blood of the righteous path on his hands? What about other sects? Would Tian Zizi wish to live a life cursed by others? impossible. So death was his best ending. Everyone nodded. That truly was the case. The enmity between the righteous and corrupt paths was not something that could be erased. Long Chen. Did Tian Zizi give you any useful information? Asked Men Chi. Yes. He told me everything he knew. Said Long Chen. He was won over by your character. You let him die an expert's death instead of doing a direct soul sark. Said Chu Yao. That was truly a bit surprising. The reason Long Chen wanted to kill Tian Zizi so badly was to learn his secrets. But even then, he wasn't fully confident in being able to grasp his soul fragments. Perhaps Tian Zizi had even possessed a way to erase his memories. Based on Tian Zizi's memories, the one behind the scenes of everything was the Yi family. They had proposed hunting down the Martial Heaven Alliance and the Xuan Beast's disciples, with the goal not to kill them but to slow them down. However, the Yi family was crafty, and while the disciples of the continent fought amongst themselves, it allowed the disciples of the divine families to progress faster. They smoothly progressed to areas with greater chances of obtaining treasures. Tian Zizi and Di Feng were not fools. They had left markers on the experts of the divine families, allowing them to realize that they were all gathering at the spring, with the goal of the divine families exposed to them. They made a new plan, leaving behind a portion of their forces to disturb the Dragonblood Legion so that they could also go search for treasures without their interference. At that time, 
Tian Zizi had proposed taking on the role of disturbing them. Yi Ming had warned him not to fight Long Chen directly and only disturb his advancement before leaving. Tian Zizi had agreed but hadn't acted according to his instructions. Have Zi Yan, Lady Nangong, and Lady Bidang already advanced asked Meng Chi. Long Chen nodded. They were all smart. Most likely, they had a way to track the Divine Family's experts. So their groups didn't need to waste time gathering before advancing to this location. Other than those fools from the Sea Demon race, the others have all reached this place before us. Even that fellow Mo Nian managed to muddle his way in here. When he mentioned Mo Nian, Long Chen couldn't help finding it a bit funny. According to Tian Zizi's memories, Mo Nian had been targeted by the Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance upon arriving here. At that time, he had stated that if anyone dared to interfere with the advancements of the Mo family's disciples, no one else would be allowed to advance either. Yi Ming had even fought with him, and in their probing exchange, Yi Ming had been at a disadvantage. The huge amount of divine energy within Mo Nian's body had shocked everyone. They thought that he had gained some god's inheritance and become a divine son. That show of power resulted in no one daring to antagonize him further. Although he wouldn't be able to kill them all, if he caused a ruckus, none of them would be able to peacefully cultivate. As a result, they had all advanced and moved on. The only thing that made Long Chen feel slightly uneasy was that Feng Fei, the Pill Fairy, and even Dong Fang Yuyang were not present amongst them. Boss, do you know where they went? Asked Guo Ran. I know the general direction and location. Yi Ming told those to Tian Zizi. Now that he's dead. Yi Ming has definitely been alerted. I have to go over there quickly. Long Chen turned to everyone. Finish cultivating here. After advancing, the Dragonblood Warriors should not split up. The Martial Heaven Alliance and the Xuan Beast's disciples should form new groups and go explore the Northwest region. That is a known territory with more treasures that others haven't found yet. As for myself, you don't need to be in a rush to join with me. Go in search of your own opportunities. Only Captain Class experts within the Dragonblood Legion are permitted to go out alone. Everyone else should remain together. Yes, the Dragonblood Warriors assented. They knew that in those dangerous areas, only the captains could protect themselves. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, should some of us stay behind to stop the Sea Demons? Asked one of the Martial Heaven Alliance's disciples. They could do the same thing that the Corrupt Path and the Ancient Family Alliance had done to them. This spring possessed a heaven-defying power. It could slow down the sea demon race from using its power. No need. If we leave too few people, it would be dangerous. Too many and it wouldn't be worth it. The sea demon race has too many people, so we can't exhaust ourselves against them. If you have that time, you should go search for your own opportunities instead. Those fools of the sea demon race aren't worth wasting the time, said Long Chen. Everyone. Take care of yourselves Long Chen nodded toward Meng Chi and the others before a pair of lightning wings appeared on his back and he vanished. He had just left the region of the spring when he sensed something. He slowly flew toward a distant stone. Chapter 2466 10,000 Dragon Nest Translator Born to be it was a very ordinary stone. However, it appeared a bit conspicuous within this forest. When Long Chen picked it up, he found a black rock beneath it and there were a few more pebbles around the black rock, forming an arrow. Long Chen picked up the black rock. This rock came from the netherworld. It possessed the specific aura of the netherworld. This was something that Mo Nian had brought back from the netherworld. At that time, Long Chen had even laughed at him, saying that it was just an ordinary rock with no use. However, now it was used for an exceptional purpose. Other people's memories of the netherworld were erased after returning. But due to his relationship with the Nethergod, he was very sensitive to this aura. As for Mo Nian, he had stolen Hong Ye Oiang's mortal husk. His memories of the netherworld would never fade. No one else would notice this rock's aura, but Long Chen instantly noticed it. Mo Nian had even encased it in Samsara power to cover up its aura. That way, only once Long Chen reached the Samsara realm would he be able to sense the aura of the netherworld from the rock. It seemed Mo Nian didn't wish for Long Chen to chase after him if he hadn't broken through yet. That fellow's pretty smart. He definitely noticed Yi Ming's plot and snuck after them. 
Long Chen saw that the direction the arrow was pointing in was in the same general direction as where Tian Zizi's memories were telling him to go. Mo Nian definitely wouldn't have anticipated that Long Chen would know about it from Tian Zizi's memories. After looking around, Long Chen shot off, seeing quite a few signs of battles. It was unknown who had been fighting. After a day and night of flying, Long Chen saw a group of a few thousand searching for something. That group instantly felt despair, as they belonged to the ancient family alliance. Long Chen glanced at them and then continued flying. Those disciples who had assumed that their deaths were set in stone stared in shock. Perhaps he disdains killing people like us, said one of them bitterly. Despite having escaped death, that feeling of disdain was not a good one. You're wrong. We didn't attack him, so he didn't kill us. He wouldn't take out his anger on us. He doesn't actually see us as enemies. Only Defang. The ancient family alliance was once allied with the Martial Heaven Alliance. If that was still the case, he would be a heavenly genius on our side. It's a pity. To tell the truth, I'm ashamed of the ancient family alliance for targeting him so often. Even if he killed me right now, I wouldn't feel hatred considering what the ancient family alliance did to him, said one person. That person made everyone fall into silent thought for a moment. They should have been on the same side, but things had ended up like this. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen didn't kill us, so I won't attack him in this lifetime. I think it would be best if we didn't rush toward the gathering place so we don't have to fight with our old allies, proposed one person. Good idea. I'm not going either. Let's treat it as if we are already dead. In an instant, everyone agreed to this suggestion. Once they reached the gathering place with Di Fang, they would have no choice but to fight Long Chen. What could they do then? Long Chen hadn't killed them now, but they would have to fight the people on Long Chen's side? Let's go that way boom. Suddenly, an explosion of flames made everyone look in the distance. That's where senior apprentice brother Long Chen went. Let's take a look. They cautiously traveled for an hour before reaching a barren land that had been chaired black. Despite the battle being over, flame energy had turned this place into a domain whose remnant power was so frightening that they didn't dare to get close. It was the corrupt path. One person pointed toward a broken halberd in the ground. It had practically melted, but due to it being on the fringe of the battlefield, it was still possible to sense that it was a corrupt weapon. It's the weapon of the corrupt path's expert. Sha Ling Xiao, exclaimed someone suddenly. The blood halberd soul reaper. That Sha Ling Xiao? Isn't he one of the four generals beneath Tian Zizi who was sealed together with him? Yes, I once saw him fight. This halberd's aura is definitely his, said that person. Everyone was shocked. Someone who had reached the fourth step and was one of Tian Zizi's four generals had been slain with a wave of Long Chen's hand. They also saw quite a few fragmented weapons throughout the battlefield. Based on what they had seen, the corrupt path was traveling in groups of 10,000 people. In other words, Long Chen's attack had wiped out a squad of 10,000 corrupt experts with even their leader being powerless to block him. For a moment, these people could only stand there in shock. They had thought that Long Chen hadn't killed them because he disdained doing so and didn't want to waste the time. But upon seeing this, it would be no exaggeration to say that he could have killed them as easily as turning a hand. Let's go. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen gave us a way to live. If we continue to fight him, it would truly be courting death. One of the leaders of this squad shook his head and brought his group away. They had given up any thought of being enemies with Long Chen. Their determination was such that even if they had to leave the ancient family alliance to avoid being enemies with Long Chen, they would do so. If they still didn't recognize this favor, they wouldn't be human. Long Chen had encountered two squads of the corrupt path as he traveled, and he had wiped them out with a single blow each time. Huo Linger's current power was so great that his enemies couldn't even react. She had gradually started to gain control over her own power, and her killing power even frightened Long Chen. The Heavenly Flame Orb had not just increased her intelligence, but it also gave her a trace of power that should not exist in this world. Long Chen suspected that it was a trace of a Heavenly Flame's power. Heavenly Flames existed above the Earth Flames. They were also called Divine Flames and Immortal Flames things that should not exist in this world. 
It could be said that the heavenly flame orb had been a priceless treasure. A large pill appeared in Long Chen's hand. It still had flickering lightning over it, but he tossed it into his mouth. It was a recently refined top-grade nethergate pill and also a giant tribulation pill. As a result, the nethergate star above his dantian shuddered. The giant pill's energy seemed to have woken it from slumber. Power poured into it, with the other five stars also lighting up. Long Chen knew that the other five stars were also fighting over the energy. From the moment that he had condensed the Divine Gate Star, he had noticed this phenomenon. The strengthening of the Nether Gate Star required the other five stars to be uplifted as well. This kind of cultivation method was strange, but it seemed that this was the only way to balance the power of the stars. The Feng Fu Star was the first star he had condensed and also the weakest, but its current power was identical to the other stars. They had always maintained a subtle connection. Great. As long as I have an unending supply of giant pills, the Nethergate star will be fully condensed sooner or later. When the nine star transformations are complete, I'll be unrivaled. Long Chen clenched his fists excitedly. Unfortunately, refining giant pills was not so simple. Only one could be refined at a time. Even with Huo Linger and the Moon and Star Refining Furnace working together, it took an incense stick's worth of time to refine a single one. However, a single giant pill's energy was greater than a hundred ordinary pills, so it was naturally more efficient. I'll be relying on the six-star battle armor. Without it, I'll definitely be killed by the sovereign Long Chen prayed inside for the six-star battle armor. Without it, he would definitely die in his next tribulation. Long Chen. Just as Long Chen was pondering over the Nethergate star, a shout drew him out of his stupor. At some point, he had arrived at a desert and there was a group of people attacking a giant black scorpion. Its aura showed that it was a 13th rank beast. Shen Chen Feng. Long Chen hadn't expected to encounter the 8th Legion here. Long Chen. Why are you here? Why haven't you entered the deeper regions? Eh? Hey, don't tell me you just came from the life death spirit spring. Shen Chen Feng looked at Long Chen in confusion. That confused expression made Long Chen realize that Shen Chen Feng didn't know about the scheme. Most likely, it was a secret of the divine families that they weren't qualified to know. Either that, or the schemers were worried that Shen Chen Feng would alert Long Chen, so they had hidden it from him. Yes, I was waiting for everyone to gather, so it took some time. He, it seems that your gains aren't bad. Long Chen pointed to the scorpion. You're still in the mood to laugh? You have to hurry on ahead. Another day's travel and you should arrive at the 10,000 dragon nest. Hurry up. That's where the real treasure lies, shouted Shen Chen Feng, flustered and exasperated. The 10,000 Dragon Nest Chapter 2467 Startling News Translator Born to be it wasn't just Long Chen who was surprised to hear about the 10,000 Dragon Nest. The other heavenly dragon warriors were also startled. They had never heard of it. However, just the name was enough to inspire reverence. Everyone looked at Shen Chen Feng. I only heard this name accidentally from one of Senior Feng Fei's attendants. They told us the direction they were going, and there's a mark on the map with the character for 10,000. I didn't know what it was at first, but when they mentioned the 10,000 Dragon Nest, I knew that's what it was. However, Senior Feng Fei told us to scatter and look for our own opportunities here. I suspect that the 10,000 Dragon Nest is too dangerous for us. But I also saw that mysterious fellow from the corrupt path, Di Fang, Dong Fang Yuang, and a few others rushing over in that direction. You shouldn't waste any time and hurry over, or all the good things will be taken away by them, said Shen Chen Fang. Long Chen felt a bit of warmth in his heart. The Eighth Legion belonged to the Divine Families but still had some brotherhood with him. Long Chen didn't believe that Shen Chen Feng hadn't heard any news about the scheme at all. He also saw a few complicated expressions amongst the heavenly dragon warriors. He knew that they had definitely received certain orders. Despite the orders, Shen Chen Feng still exposed such a secret to him. He definitely viewed Long Chen as a brother. Long Chen patted Shen Chen Feng's shoulder and nodded toward everyone. Brothers, I'll remember this favor. Long Chen's lightning wings flapped, and he sped off. He encountered several waves of the Martial Heaven Continent's experts, with one being from the corrupt path that he conveniently wiped out. 
As he was traveling, he saw two groups facing each other. When he saw that one of them belonged to the ancient family alliance and the other was from the Mo family, he chose to hide himself in the void. He didn't see Mo Nian, but he did see Lu Zongying. Both sides had weapons drawn. The atmosphere was extremely tense. You can go. The leader of that group of the ancient family alliance was a white-robed man with a sword on his back. His expression was complicated as he looked at Lu Zongying. Senior apprentice brother Jin Lin. You. The people beside the white-robed man stared at him in astonishment. The Mo family were the traitors of the ancient family alliance. Their side had more people, so they would definitely be at an advantage if they fought. The white-robed man shook his head. The grievance back then was so long ago that no one can say who was right and who was wrong. The truth has been erased within the river of time. With the Martial Heaven continent on the verge of destruction, this kind of fight is meaningless. If young Master Di Feng asks, I will take full responsibility Lu Zongying smiled. The quicksword Jin Lin stands up to his reputation of a heavenly genius seal during ancient times. This sharp vision is admirable. The truth from back then truly isn't important. What's important is how many people still care about that truth. Lu Zongying turned to the other experts wanting to fight. Don't feel indignant over missing such a great opportunity. I'll tell you frankly that the Mo family's power is not something that you can imagine. If you did choose to fight, you would be the ones to suffer. Bullsh tea. You traitors. You dare to be so arrogant? The great blood emperor saw through your arrogance back then. Which was why your Mo family was attacked. You shouldn't even exist in this world. The speaker didn't even get a chance to finish speaking. Lu Zongying raised a hand. And a hole appeared in that person's head. Lu Zongying's movements hadn't appeared too fast, but they had been so smooth and graceful that it was wonderful to see. That fellow Mo Nian actually managed to transmit his divine energy to her. Is he not afraid of harming her? Long Chen was the only one who saw it clearly. He saw that the reason she had managed to so easily kill that person was because her attack had contained divine energy. That person's corpse slowly collapsed to the ground. Killing intent rose from the other disciples of the ancient family alliance. Battle was imminent. In the face of their killing intent, Lu Zongying snorted. The Mo family's rise can no longer be stopped. The Mo family is going to take back its dignity. Senior apprentice brother Jin Lin, thank you for your kindness, but the Mo family will not accept anyone's pity. Even after that bloodshed, even through the years of fleeing, did we ever lower our heads? Mo Nian might not be present, but I, Lu Zongying, am. If you want to kill the Mo family's disciples, come try it. Lu Zongying's forceful appearance possessed even greater charisma than Mo Nian's mischievous laughing style. Her fearless determination was similar to Ku Jinying. Long Chen nodded. Lu Zongying was truly a heroine who would not accept other people's pity, nor would she allow the Mo family's disciples to leave in front of people's disdainful looks. That was an insult to the Mo family. Jin Lin had good intentions, but he had said one thing wrong. That was to say that he was allowing the Mo family's disciples to leave. That implied that they were the weaker ones. Lu Zongying thanked him for his good intentions, but she would not accept them. Jin Lin's expression changed. He felt as if he didn't have a way out. His hand reached back, but in the end, he didn't unshed the sword on his back. He shook his head and walked away. Taking the blame, not wanting to take on the infamy of bullying a woman. He was a sword cultivator with a sword cultivator's pride. The other disciples of the ancient family alliance clenched their teeth but left with him. Jin Lin's position in the ancient family alliance was very high. Clapping rang out and everyone looked over. Lu Zongying was delighted, but the ancient family alliance's disciples' expressions all changed. Long Chen was clapping. A sword cultivator is truly a sword cultivator. This pride is worthy of praise. It is this pride that saved all your lives. If you had attacked, your names would only exist within the continent's history. The ancient family alliance's disciples' hearts clenched. They were pale with fear. Considering the point that the ancient family alliance and the martial heaven alliance had reached, Long Chen had more than enough reason to kill them right here if he wanted to. They had joined forces with the corrupt path to ambush the Martial Heaven Alliance, even leaving people behind to disturb them. These people all knew of it. 
A cultivator must cultivate the heart. To cultivate the heart requires cultivating the mind first. A cultivator without a brain will sooner or later die to someone else's scheme no matter how strong they are. You're all very lucky to have a sword cultivator who protected your lives. But luck won't look after you forever. Go. And hopefully the next time I see you, you won't have given me a reason to kill you, said Long Chen. Jin Lin cupped his fists toward Long Chen, leading the ancient family alliance's disciples away. When they could no longer see Long Chen, those disciples finally realized that their backs were already covered in icy sweat. Congratulations to Mrs. Mo for your divine power. Long Chen turned to Lu Zongying and greeted her with a laugh. Congratulations my ass. That Mo Nian has been corrupted by your bad example. Mo Nian was originally very obedient, but he started growing more and more wanton after encountering you. Lu Zongying's smile vanished and was replaced with a glare. Long Chen stared at her. Did her conscience not twinge when she called Mo Nian obedient? Mo Nian had always been the way he was. You should hurry and join Mo Nian. Be careful. Mo Nian said that the divine families didn't just send Feng Fei. There's another one whose power is not inferior to Feng Fei. The divine families are acting mysteriously. They definitely have their own goal. Warned Lu Zongying. The divine families actually have another such expert. Long Chen was startled. Lu Zongying said. Mo Nian was following Di Feng's tracks. Due to digging up the Di family's ancestral tomb, he has a special method to track him. Mo Nian wanted to kill him alone, but Di Feng was rushing on his own, while Mo Nian had to look after us, slowing him down. When we caught up to them, Tian Zizi, Di Feng, and the others had entered the life and death spirit spring, but they weren't the first batch to reach there. Another group had already left, using one of his new divine abilities. Mo Nian saw someone enter with Feng Fei. In any case, the divine families have been very secretive over this starfield divine world. So Mo Nian left a marker for you to chase after him. With his cultivation base, I wouldn't be too worried about him. But if that person with Feng Fei is on the same level as her, then it will be dangerous for Mo Nian to fight against both of them. Lu Zongying couldn't help being worried. If it was a one against one. Mo Nian should be able to run even if he couldn't beat Feng Fei. But if he was surrounded, he wouldn't have a chance to run. All right. Take care. I'm going right now. Long Chen nodded. Waving goodbye. He continued on his way. He saw quite a few scars from battles along the way. And he also saw some disciples from the divine families. Those disciples were clearly surprised upon seeing him. He also saw the third legion's commander in the distance. When the commander saw Long Chen, he shot up. However, he didn't actually attack in the end. Ignoring him, Long Chen continued on his way. With them all being in the fourth step, he no longer cared about them. As Long Chen sped off, he used his divine sense to keep an eye on the third commander. He saw that the latter had taken out a jade tablet. Most likely, he was reporting his location. HMPH. The divine families really are treacherous. They're afraid of me fighting over the treasures? Then let me see just what kind of treasures are worth being so careful. Long Chen snorted and continued on his way. After a day's worth of travel, a giant ball of clouds appeared ahead of him. This is the place. Chapter 2468 Hidden Dragon Star Soul Grass Translator Born to be the giant clump of clouds covered up whatever was inside, but it was possible to hear some vague dragon roars coming from within. Those clouds were no ordinary clouds. They were filled with immortal chi. It seemed that there was a kind of mysterious law protecting this place. Based on Tian Zizi's memories and the marker that Mo Nian had left for him, Long Chen examined the clouds for a moment before diving right in. The moment he entered, he felt as if he had been drawn into a spastime channel. The sound of dragon roars and spatial fragments tore through his ears. A giant drake suddenly charged toward Long Chen its claws tearing through the spastime channel. Long Chen immediately felt a sensation of mortal danger fill him. A black bone saber cut through its claw and the rest of the drake, cutting it in two. Long Chen was shocked. That drake had definitely been in existence above the nether passage realm but had still been instantly killed. He knew that this was a spastime illusion. It seemed that these clouds had recorded fragments of the history that had passed. 
What he was seeing was nothing more than images of what had happened in the distant past. However, although they were just images, they had their own sound and pressure. The pressure that they replicated was enough to crush ordinary fourth-step nether passage experts. Not even Samsara power could stop it. The void continued to rumble. Long Chen felt as if his body would be torn apart, but his physical body was strong enough to resist it. Long Chen didn't activate any defenses. He used his body to experience the scenes before him. They were extremely chaotic, and he couldn't even see the battle clearly. He only caught glimpses of torn-up corpses flying. There were corpses of giant dragons, as well as experts from a strange race in black armor with black bone blades. This was a bloody battle of existences above the Nether Passage realm. Dragon blood dyed the ground. For some unknown reason, Long Chen was filled with killing intent toward the experts in black armor. He didn't know whether or not the true dragon essence blood in his veins caused him to be fond of the dragon race and hate their enemies. Suddenly, the visions faded and everything fell silent. Long Chen appeared in a desolate world. The scent of blood hung in the air along with the aura of decay. Looking around, Long Chen's heart pounded. White bones filled this world. Every single one of these bones was gigantic. They were half buried, with the other half piercing into the sky. A light crack rang out beneath his feet when he took a step. He saw that a withered bone had been shattered by his step. He didn't know what bone it was, but it was bigger than a house. Long Chen rubbed one of the fragments and muttered to himself. It wasn't the erosion of time that weakened them. The divine runes of the bone were taken away, resulting in its power being stolen. Ahead of him was a dragon skull. Examining it, he found that the skull had been pierced by something, and the dragon core had been taken away. The divine runes within the bones had also been absorbed. Not one thing of value had been left behind. Although he was a bit disappointed, he assumed that this was normal. If there had been any treasures here, they would have long since been taken by others. Mo Nian didn't leave any further marks. Either he didn't have the time, or there was no time. Long Chen observed the surroundings. After not finding anything that Mo Nian could have left for him, he began to carefully advance. Hidden Dragon Star Soul Grass. Long Chen suddenly noticed a strange grass covered in scale like patterns growing within one of the dragon bones. In a land of hidden dragons, where the soul stir remains, a spirit grass can grow. Becoming a divine dragon medicine, Long Chen's heart pounded hard. A recording of this precious medicinal ingredient appeared in his mind. It seems that this dragon must have been extremely powerful when alive. Even after death, not all of its power was sucked away. The remaining energy was enough to give birth to a hidden dragon star soul grass. This was an exceedingly rare medicinal ingredient. It was said to only have a possibility of growing within a dragon cemetery. When a dragon died and their soul essence merged with astral energy, this grass could sprout. It was impossible to grow on the Martial Heaven continent. Hence, even the ancient records of the Martial Heaven continent didn't have it. Long Chen only recognized it due to the Pill Sovereign memories. Its extract could be absorbed and after that, the dragon race would view the one absorbing it as a member of their race. They would not be attacked, and they might even be able to control a divine dragon. The dragon race mentioned here referred to the true dragon race, so it did not mean that the other dragon races with impure bloodlines would respect it the same way. Perhaps they might be a bit more amicable, but there were records of dragon races killing each other. The reason that Long Chen was so excited over it was because he could refine it into the dragon body star soul pill. This was a pill that could transform a person's constitution and allow them to grow infinitely closer to a dragon's power. The dragon blood warriors had absorbed the essence blood of the metal devouring evil dragon. After cultivating the dragon blood body tempering art, their physical bodies had grown many times stronger, making them into true dragon blood warriors. However, there was still an immense difference between their bodies and the bodies of actual dragons. This pill could change their constitutions, fully activating their dragon blood to reforge their bodies. Long Chen also believed that it would allow them to cultivate faster and easier with the dragon blood body tempering art. The reason his body was so powerful was because his body had been completely reforged by the azure dragon essence blood. If the dragon blood warriors had the dragon body star soul pills, they could also reforge their physical bodies like him. However, 
reforging the physical body required constantly tearing it apart and rebuilding it. It would be a very painful process. I wonder if I can grow it in the primal chaos space. The hidden dragon soul star grass only grew within the corpses of dragons, relying on the leftover energy from when the dragon was alive to survive. Once it left the corpse, it wouldn't be long before it withered. Long Chen carefully transplanted the grass into the primal chaos space and saw that it didn't show any signs of withering. Instead, it seemed slightly invigorated. The primal chaos bead really is my greatest treasure. Long Chen almost cried out in excitement. The primal chaos bead's power was truly heaven defying. Long Chen carefully plucked off a few roots and found that those roots continued to grow. In other words, he could grow them in large numbers. However, their growing speed was too slow. Who knew how long it would take before he had enough? I'll need to find some corpses, thought Long Chen. Without powerful corpses to feed the primal chaos space, let alone the hidden dragon star soul grass, he wouldn't even be able to grow the heavenly killin' demon trees. Long Chen continued onward, finding more and more skeletons. However, he didn't find more of the hidden dragon star soul grass as the conditions for it to grow were too stringent. The fact that he had obtained one was a pure coincidence. At first, he saw only dragon bones, but he gradually started to see bones of some other race. Their bones didn't seem different from human bones, but they were black and looked like steel. They didn't even let off their own people. Long Chen examined a few of those corpses and saw sharp penetrating wounds. Based on the position, it seemed that they had been stabbed through their hearts. These bones had their divine runes taken away as well, and were extremely weak. Just a touch caused them to shatter. Should I use a soul art to see if I can dredge up some fragments? Long Chen started to form hand seals. Are you crazy? You want to intentionally infect yourself with more karma? Do you not want to live any longer? Cursed Evil Moon suddenly. What is there to look at? These are the heaven devouring black armor cores a race that devours others to advance. They possess a devouring law similar to my dark evil dragon race's devouring ability the heaven devouring black armor cores? What are they? I've never heard of them before, asked Long Chen. There are lots of things that you haven't heard of before. Let me tell you, don't randomly look at things that you shouldn't look at. If you don't want to be chased down by the heaven devouring black armor cores during your next heavenly tribulation, you shouldn't look for trouble. Who knows if they have some curse waiting for others to touch when they die. Perhaps you might not even last until your next tribulation, said Evil Moon. Evil Moon clearly had an understanding of this race, and it even seemed to be afraid of them. With Long Chen's spiritual strength, he could grasp remnants of auras and laws to look at some fragments of spastime in the surroundings. However, that would invoke karma. It was different from the scenes that he had seen when entering. This was him actively attempting to draw them to himself. Normally, a passive glance wouldn't invoke karma. Don't bother with these meaningless things. This 10,000 dragon nest could only be made by someone on the level of a dragon king capable of subduing 10,000 dragons. Hurry up and investigate the depths. I sense a powerful aura, but it's been covered up. I'm sure that there's a treasure inside, said Evil Moon impatiently. Long Chen agreed and decided to speed up. As he passed by the countless bones, a giant entity appeared up ahead. It was like a star floating in the sky. That's the dragon nest. We're almost in, shouted Evil Moon. Long Chen quickened his pace. The closer he got, the more apprehensive he grew. Dragon might exuded from the nest, quickening his blood flow. Various dragon scales were starting to appear. Control your aura, or the one inside the dragon nest will sense you, ordered Evil Moon. Long Chen slowed down. At this time, he noticed that it was like a spherical gem. There were countless holes throughout it, and it seemed like a maze. Following Evil Moon's directions, Long Chen entered one of the caves. As soon as he entered, the world changed. He got into a new space, and before he could even see his surroundings, a black bone blade slashed toward him. Chapter 2469 The Secrets of the 10,000 Dragon Nest Translator born to be an evil aura exploded. The sharp blade brought with it an aura of death. However, this blade was not solid. It was a spiritual attack. Boom. The blade fell and Long Chen's soul shook. A wave of dizziness almost overwhelmed him. 
Fortunately, his spiritual strength had grown stronger with the advancement of his cultivation base. Despite being caught off guard, the attack was quickly erased once it entered his mind. See, Long Chen slashed Devil Moon in the air in front of him but didn't hit anything. He also didn't see anything. Is there a ghost? Asked Long Chen. What ghost? This is the resentful spirit of the heaven devouring black armor cores. Their souls were bound here upon dying and remained for tens of thousands of years. They'll naturally attack when they encounter living creatures. But their spiritual strength is famous for how crap it is. So it's no danger to you. Continue onward, said Evil Moon. Long Chen sent his spiritual strength out to keep an eye on the surroundings. Although this attack hadn't been fatal, it didn't feel good. No wonder the Divine Family's ordinary disciples were not allowed inside. With the Spastime Channel being such a barrier, along with the attacks of the resentful spirits here, even the Dragonblood warriors probably couldn't enter. Another black figure quickly attacked Long Chen as he advanced. This time, he saw it clearly. It was a strange life form in black armor attacking with a saber. With his guard up, Long Chen easily summoned a spiritual shield. The black figure smashed into the shield and exploded, vanishing without a trace. Curious, why don't I see their actual corpses? Asked Long Chen. Do you know the origin of the 10,000 dragon nest? Asked Devil Moon. It also seemed curious. No. All right. I forgot that the Martial Heaven continent has lost many inheritances after multiple tribulations. Let me put it to you this way. The 10,000 dragon nest is formed of countless dragon bones. A dragon king will always create a 10,000 dragon nest after being born. And the foundation of this nest is the dragon king's blood bone. The dragon king will then constantly beat powerful opponents and use their bones for the nest. This nest is no ordinary construction. It is the result of the dragon race's divine abilities. In other words, this nest can be considered to be alive. It will constantly absorb the corpses of other experts to strengthen itself. Furthermore, it is the strongest trump card of the dragon king. It can be likened to a divine item created by a human. This divine item might be weak at the start, but as time passes, it will constantly be strengthened. The 10,000 Dragon Nest is also a great source of energy for the Dragon King. It is capable of offense and defense. In my battle against Yun Shang, if I had had my 10,000 Dragon Nest, I wouldn't have been beaten so miserably, said Evil Moon hatefully. Long Chen was startled. So Evil Moon had also reached the level of a Dragon King. No wonder it had such an understanding of this nest. Then that means that the corpses were absorbed by the 10,000 Dragon Nest? Does that mean that the Dragon King is still alive? Probed Long Chen. That is impossible to say. Even if the Dragon King is dead, the 10,000 Dragon Nest would continue to act according to its natural functions. For example, even if a human dies, their astral space can remain and become a minor world. That minor world will simply not possess a master. It's still too early to say anything for sure. You should go check the core. If your luck is good. You might be able to find a treasure. Boom. Long Chen was attacked once more. But this time Long Chen didn't wait to be struck. Instead striking first with a spiritual sword. It was precisely as Evil Moon said. These resentful souls were not strong enough to pose any threat to him. The 10,000 Dragon Nest is something only powerful members of the Dragon Race are qualified to enter. They can absorb its energy to cultivate and benefit from the Dragon King. It is also the crux of a Dragon King's breakthrough. Once the Dragon Nest has reached a certain level, the Dragon King can attempt to break through the next barrier to a higher realm. Based on the aura of this nest, it has reached the middle level, but it's a far cry from my 10,000 Dragon Nest. Despite that, there is definitely something good at the core. The main question is whether or not it still remains or if someone else got to it first, said Evil Moon with anticipation. Long Chen followed the passageway he was in. The path suddenly became spacious up ahead, and there was an ancient forest. Did I end up transported out? Long Chen was startled. He had felt like he had sensed some spatial fluctuations just now. This ancient forest extended further than he could see. The aura was also completely different from the 10,000 dragon nest. No, this is one of the nest's spatial worlds. A dragon can cultivate here. There are countless spaces like this, 
each connected to multiple entrances like a maze. There is only one main path that the Dragon King goes through, and that path cannot be entered by others. I've chosen the next most direct path for you, so don't waste time. Before entering, I saw several entrances that showed signs that others had entered, urged Evil Moon. Long Chen continued onward according to Evil Moon's directions. After half an incense stick's worth of time, he saw a battlefield. There were countless corpses littering the ground. He saw a dozen dragon skeletons that looked a bit off, looking somewhat like tigers instead of dragons. Their mouths were long, and it was impossible to guess what their original forms were like. Other than those skeletons, there were thousands of black corpses. Long Chen finally saw what the heaven-devouring black armor cores looked like. They were like humans but covered in black scales. Their scales had runes on them, but they were now faint and powerless. Their foreheads were a bit wide, and they had two canine teeth. Their bodies were thin, and their eyes had vanished. An aura of decay and darkness still came from them. Examining the battlefield, Long Chen didn't find anything useful. Rather than wasting more time here, he continued onward. These spaces were given to certain experts amongst the dragon race with a set level of status. The one who lived here belonged to the dragon cat race. They aren't especially powerful, but they are quick as lightning and possess a powerful domain divine ability. That was why they were able to slay so many of the heaven-devouring black armor cores. Using the terms of your martial heaven continent, they are above the nether passage realm, said Evil Moon. Above the nether passage realm. Long Chen was shaken inside. As he continued onward, Evil Moon said, The 10,000 Dragon Nest can be considered to be a bit similar to your Danshan. You have 108,000 astral spaces, while the Dragon Nest also has countless spaces for dragons to cultivate. If the Dragon Nest was allowed to limitlessly grow, it would give birth to its own cosmos. Just how terrifying would it be if it possessed the power of an entire cosmos? Long Chen. I'm telling you this because I don't understand your nine-star hegemon body art, but I'm sure it is a heaven-defying cultivation technique. If I compare it to the dragon nest, I'd have to say that your nine-star hegemon body art is even more terrifying. Now I understand why you are always plagued with setbacks and bad luck. You were originally just an ordinary person in the mortal world, but your fate was changed by the nine-star hegemon body art. Even now. I cannot see your golden fate lines, nor do I dare to use any of my evil dragon race's oracle techniques to predict your future. Even my own fate became impossible to predict at some point. Moreover, my past is now sealed within my memories. This is why Yun Chang was waiting for you, why Mo Li called you brother. My guess is that due to the nine star hegemon body art, they have bet everything on you. You are not infected by the karma of the sovereigns. Your future will only grow more difficult, so I have to warn you not to restrict yourself. The words that Evil Moon spoke were very simple, but it also kept a few words back. Long Chen could understand what it was saying. Don't worry, if I see an opportunity to get stronger, I'll grasp it with my full power. No one will be able to stop me. Long Chen took a deep breath and nodded. Good, then go left, said Evil Moon. They very quickly appeared within a twisting space. Long Chen stepped inside, and the passageway appeared once more. Long Chen sped down it, going through over ten of those spatial worlds. Every one of those spatial worlds was filled with skeletons and corpses. Whatever battle had gone down here had been intense. The further he went, the stronger the aura of the dragon race's experts was. The remnant laws also grew clearer. Upon entering one of the worlds, he heard the roars and shrieks of the dragons and heaven swallowing black armor cores. It was as if the battle from back then was being reenacted in the present. During normal times, Long Chen would take a pause to feel just how terrifying the battle from back then was, but now Evil Moon was urging him to race through. Eventually, Long Chen couldn't even remember how many of the spatial worlds he had passed. Even his sense of direction had grown muddled. He was relying entirely on Evil Moon to lead the way. Suddenly, the space ahead of him shuddered. A dark world appeared. As soon as he entered, Long Chen's hair stood on end. This world was filled with death and the aura of rot. It felt like just taking a breath could make a person age. Long Chen was about to ask Evil Moon which direction to go when the void above him twisted. A figure appeared. 
and when he saw that figure, Long Chen immediately shot toward it like an arrow, slashing Evil Moon. Chapter 2470 Yi Ming Translator Born to be the figure had just appeared, and before it could even get a clear look at the surroundings, Evil Moon was already silently slashing toward it. The figure was covered in a black cloak that covered its face. A black aura exuded from its body. It was the corrupt path's mysterious expert, Yi Ming. Long Chen, Yi Ming was startled. He extended a hand, five different runes lighting up on his fingertips. Then the five runes whirled together into a five-colored shield. Boom. The shield exploded. But Long Chen's sneak attack was also resolved. It just so happens that I was looking for you. Yi Ming snorted, and his figure suddenly became illusory. He vanished just like that. This was not a simple movement art. He had truly vanished. Even his aura was gone. Long Chen suddenly swung Evil Moon behind him, perfectly meeting a fist. White bone spurs were coming out of the fist. The bone spurs shattered, but Yi Ming's figure was still not present. Long Chen's expression didn't change. Without looking back, he swung Evil Moon to his left rear. Long Chen swung Evil Moon seven times, every time blocking an attack that came out of nowhere. Yi Ming's figure appeared in the air once more. His face was still covered by his cloak. He snorted. No wonder Tian Zizi was unable to kill you. I really did underestimate you. I shouldn't have agreed to Tian Zizi's request. I feel the same way about you. Most teleportations can only be carried out within a specific domain. But you are able to freely teleport within this world that has completely different laws from the Martial Heaven continent. And without summoning a domain at that, you can even merge your aura into the 10,000 Dragon Nest. As expected of a god's reincarnation, I'm growing more and more interested, said Long Chen with a faint smile. Battle intent grew within him. A god's reincarnation definitely had to relate to many secrets. Perhaps Long Chen could learn a few of the martial heaven continent secrets from Yi Ming. Yi Ming's aura clearly fluctuated upon hearing that. He icily said, Tian Zizi's loyalty was insincere. Not even death is enough punishment. Yi Ming was enraged. His identity was a secret within the corrupt path. The only one to know of it was Tian Zizi. He was well aware of Tian Zizi's abilities. Although Long Chen might possess the power to kill him, it was impossible for Long Chen to obtain Tian Zizi's secrets. The only possibility was that Tian Zizi had revealed them himself. This was equivalent to a betrayal to a corrupt god. Let's not waste time. We don't need to make any excuses for fighting. Let me experience just how powerful a god's reincarnation is. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him, and 108,000 stars lit up inside of it. The earth was crushed by the pressure. No wonder you could kill Tian Zizi. So your manifestation has also awoken, said Yi Ming coldly. That starry sky behind Long Chen was taken to be a manifestation by him. Long Chen didn't waste words and slashed Evil Moon down with his full power. This was no divine son, but someone who had once ascended and become a god. HMPH, it doesn't matter how strong you are, you're still nothing in front of me, Yi Ming snorted, and in the face of Long Chen's attack, he simply stood there. A black manifestation suddenly burst into existence behind him. There were two eyes within Yi Ming's manifestation, but other than that, there was only endless darkness. Those eyes seemed to have something dancing within them. Just being looked at by them was enough to make a person feel like their soul was being wrested out of their body. It's dark energy. Evil Moon let out a startled cry. Boom. Long Chen's saber slashed down, but Yi Ming caught his attack with his bare hands. Long Chen felt as if his attack had been sucked away into a vast sea, with all his power vanishing. Devil Eye Soul Snapper. The eyes within Yi Ming's manifestation suddenly grew. It was as if a devil was staring into Long Chen's spiritual sea. Some kind of energy tried to break his soul. This spiritual attack came without any warning. Not good. Long Chen was shocked that Yi Ming's eyes were able to unleash spiritual attacks without warning and through space. This attack caught him off guard. Just as his spiritual strength was suppressed and in danger of being stripped away from his body, the divine gate within his mind sea opened. The divine gate star lit up and the attack silently vanished. Yi Ming's body shuddered, and he stared at Long Chen in shock. 
He had thought that this divine ability of his could easily kill Long Chen in an instant when he was caught by surprise. But despite having victory within his grasp, some kind of mysterious power had made his divine ability useless. Boom. In that instant, light exploded out of Evil Moon, blowing away Yi Ming's arms and slashing toward his head. Yi Ming's figure instantly vanished. His teleportation technique had allowed him to escape. However, the hood of his cloak had been destroyed, revealing his true face. Upon seeing his appearance, Long Chen was surprised. Yi Ming looked very young, but his eyes were white as snow. He had no pupils. There were black lines around his eyes, giving off a bizarre and sinister feeling. So even after Nirvanic rebirth, you managed to keep a pair of eyes within your manifestation while you cultivated a new pair of eyes. It seems that your plot isn't small. You want to make up for any flaws from your past cultivation. Long Chen looked at Yi Ming observantly. In truth, these words weren't his own but from Evil Moon. As expected, Yi Ming's expression changed. He then smiled. I wouldn't have thought a baby like you would know this much. I was going to keep you alive to distract those fellows from the divine families for me. But it seems that I have to kill you now. A sword appeared in Yi Ming's hand. Its edges were covered in jagged teeth. Those teeth looked chillingly sharp. Long Chen ignored the sword. Continuing. In your last life, you cultivated dark energy. Dark energy's main purpose is to devour, but the eyes of your divine ability are clearly lacking enough dark energy, and they even require another kind of energy to restrict the eruption of the dark energy from harming yourself. If you didn't require that second kind of energy to restrict it, your dark energy could have killed me just now. That's why in this life, you are trying to make up for the flaws of your last life by cultivating a new set of eyes. At that time, with two sets of eyes merged together, you will be able to truly control dark energy. Not bad. Truly not bad. You. Who are you? Demanded Yi Ming suddenly. This kind of secret was not something that someone like Long Chen could come into contact with. His gaze locked onto the saber in Long Chen's hands. It's not important who I am. But I must admit, it's impressive that you are trying to replicate the dark race's innate divine abilities. At the present time. There are no flaws in this path of yours. This 10,000 dragon nest has something you need, and very urgently at that. Am I right? Evil Moon continued to pass words through Long Chen. Suddenly, the world turned dark. Long Chen felt like he had been tossed into an endless hell. Within this darkness, Long Chen was shocked to find that his own power was being sucked away without his permission. I don't care who you are. Since you know my secret, you must die. Yi Ming's voice resounded through the darkness. A pair of eyes appeared within the darkness, staring at Long Chen. Do you see? This is dark energy, something capable of absorbing the power of all other things in this world. This is the strongest divine ability of my dark evil dragon race. This Yi Ming is a god's reincarnation, and now that he has entered the fourth step of Nether Passage, he has an easy path for himself. Tian Zizi was only capable of sucking you into his manifestation, but Yi Ming is capable of extending his manifestation. Without needing to suck you inside, you are already within the domain of his manifestation. Transmitted Evil Moon to Long Chen. The space around him rumbled. Long Chen didn't know what was happening, but he felt the space around him collapsing and his own energy flying away. Despite doing his best, he couldn't stop his spiritual Yuan from being devoured. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon in front of him, managing to block a sword from within the darkness. This attack from Yi Ming wasn't extraordinarily powerful. However, in that instant, more of his spiritual Yuan flew away. So, dark energy is very powerful. This is practically unbeatable, said Long Chen. Correct. Dark energy can reach an unbeatable level, but I have yet to achieve full control over it. Yi Ming's voice resounded throughout the darkness. By fixing my final flaws, this entire world will belong to my corrupt path. Sovereigns, invaders, they will all be nothing before me. Dark energy is the strongest power within this world. Long Chen, I consider you a true expert, so I'll give you a chance to kill yourself. Long Chen smiled and shook his head. There is no such thing in this world. No matter how great one power is, there will definitely be at least one power that suppresses it. I've come to realize how amazing your dark energy is. 
I also know how strong the dark evil dragon race is. Evil Moon had its own goal at this moment. It always thought that Long Chen was looking down on it for losing to a sovereign. By exposing Yi Ming's goal, Yi Ming would summon his strongest domain to kill them. Now Long Chen would experience just how strong the dark evil dragon race was. Let's see which one of our worlds is stronger. 5 star battle armor. Long Chen's divine ring shuddered, and 5 stars blazed with light. A majestic aura wildly burst out. Chapter 2471 Dark Energy 5 stars lit up. Even the darkness could not absorb their light. With the 5 star battle armor active, the darkness could no longer strip away Long Chen's power. His astral spaces unleashed a torrent of power that filled him with strength. This was why despite being in Yi Ming's domain with his power sucked away, he didn't feel the slightest fear or panic. His power no longer stemmed from the outside world. He was not an Empyrean supported by the heavenly Deos. However, he could get his own energy from his astral spaces. Furthermore, a surprising phenomenon had occurred after his battle with Feng Fei. At that time, his astral spaces had been fully exhausted. But after that, once they had recovered, it felt as if one of their limiters had been broken. Then upon reaching the fourth step, they had grown even stronger and were continuing to grow. Although he couldn't see them growing, he could feel it. The five stars grew brighter and brighter, driving the darkness away. Yi Ming's figure was quickly revealed. He was standing in the air, looking coldly at Long Chen. What a cultivation technique. It actually isn't suppressed by my manifestation. Yi Ming's tone was flat. It seemed that he wasn't surprised. I'm not the only one who isn't suppressed by your manifestation. You weren't able to suppress Mo Nian either, were you? Said Long Chen. Mo Nian and Yi Ming had fought and ended in a draw. Under the mediation of the divine families, they had come to a stop. Mo Nian had to have been able to block his dark energy as well. Or if this domain was summoned, he would definitely die. Him? All he did was steal a mortal husk. His divine energy doesn't match him at all. If I wanted to kill him, he wouldn't be able to escape my domain. I spared his life because just like you, he is one of my chess pieces. Unfortunately, now I have to get rid of one, said Yi Ming. It just so happens that I was thinking of getting rid of you as well. Long Chen smiled. Yi Ming seemed extremely confident, but Long Chen was also very confident. Yi Ming suddenly attacked. His sword was like a viper. Giant cracks appeared in the void as his sword pierced through space. Meanwhile, black runes lit up on Evil Moon. A dragon row rang out majestically. Two divine items clashed, creating an explosion of blinding light and pitch black darkness. Chaos raged throughout the world along with fragments of spastime. Long Chen felt like he was being crushed by an entire world. With a roar, scales suddenly covered his body. His power exploded and a pillar of light erupted out of him. With the Azure Dragon battle armor and the merging with Evil Moon's dragon power, a burst of power tore through Yi Ming's domain. The darkness exploded. No wonder you have such an understanding of dark energy. So your saber was made from the bones of a dark evil dragon. It definitely has a suppressive effect on my domain. Yi Ming retreated, his sharp gaze landing on Evil Moon. Long Chen clenched Evil Moon. The air around him raged with his power. Even without Evil Moon, your domain would be unable to bind me. Long Chen attacked again. He didn't use any magical arts but simply pure power. Excellent. After being in seclusion for tens of thousands of years, I felt rusty. I can stretch my muscles a bit. Yi Ming snorted and swung his jagged sword. The two divine items clashed for a second time. Space twisted forming two semicircular worlds around the two of them. One was the power of Long Chen's divine ring, while the other was Yi Ming's dark domain. The two of them were crashing against each other. Their weapons remained locked together. Every time they shuddered, it caused an explosion in the void. Now you have no power to borrow, right? Let's have a battle with our true abilities with a final explosion. Long Chen shoved and Yi Ming was knocked back. Long Chen took a deep breath. His aura began to condense. I was also thinking of using your blood as a sacrifice to my divine item to awaken it. Yi Ming's pure white eyes suddenly began to have lines of blood appear within them, making him appear even more frightening. Yi Ming pointed his sword at Long Chen. 
The two eyes within his manifestation grew, his sword shuddered, and an evil aura exploded out of it as if it had come to life. A ray of sword light shot out. This sword wasn't aimed at Long Chen but at the ground. The earth was instantly torn apart and cut through as easily as tofu. Using your blood as a sacrifice to my sword can count as an honor for you. Yi Ming smiled sinisterly, like a leopard looking at its prey. Yi Ming was just about to strike when his expression suddenly changed. Count yourself lucky. I'll let you live a little while longer, but I don't want to let you live any longer. Long Chen didn't know what Yi Ming was up to, but it seemed that he wanted to run. Long Chen immediately unleashed the attack that he was preparing. Split the heavens eight. Yi Ming's expression changed slightly. A powerful explosion occurred as Long Chen's attack landed. Yi Ming's manifestation exploded, while Yi Ming himself vanished. Long Chen, I'll remember this. Next time, I'll cut off your head. Darkness filled the world following the explosion of Yi Ming's manifestation. After the darkness faded, Yi Ming was also gone. The land was a complete mess, and Yi Ming's aura still hung in the air, but he himself was no longer present. What is going on? asked Long Chen. How was Yi Ming able to so easily slip out of his attack? He had locked onto him with his attack. This is another aspect of dark energy. Yi Ming was unable to devour your attack, but he was able to draw it into his manifestation and cause it to explode in there. However, he also paid a price for it. He underestimated your power, causing him to be injured. We should hurry up as well. The core area of the dragon nest has been opened. That's why he was in such a rush to leave, urged Evil Moon. Long Chen quickly rushed off in the direction that Evil Moon indicated. As he flew through the air, Evil Moon explained that Yi Ming was correct. Dark energy was truly one of the world's strongest powers however. Yi Ming's dark energy was not true dark energy. It had too many flaws. So in this lifetime, he wanted to cultivate a new pair of eyes. According to Evil Moon, these were a pair of evil eyes but they had yet to be opened. Evil Moon sensed that those eyes had been nourished by the foundation of the corrupt path's power for tens of thousands of years. Once those eyes opened, they might instantly merge with his original eyes, allowing him to control true dark energy. Evil Moon said that the source of the darkness was a primordial wickedness, which was why the dark evil dragon was the ruler of the evil dragon race. Yi Ming had recognized the primordial wickedness and he had set everything into motion. Once he became a god, he didn't ascend, instead choosing to die and undergo nirvanic rebirth, all to perfectly control dark energy. Once Yi Ming was in perfect control of the dark energy, then the corrupt path would definitely become the absolute ruler of the martial heaven continent. That included Long Chen. Is dark energy really so powerful? Asked Long Chen. Not everyone has a powerful enough cultivation technique to control dark energy like you. Other than that, don't forget, Yi Ming has become a god, but he chose to not ascend to perfect his dark energy. Before undergoing a nirvanic rebirth, he definitely made countless preparations. He wouldn't just leave a pair of divine eyes. The entire corrupt path is his. The accumulations of years of resources are at his disposal. As for you. Do you think a young man in his 20s can compare to the resources gathered by billions of experts over tens of thousands of years? Reminded Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded. Evil Moon was right. Yi Ming had definitely made countless preparations. Perhaps this was the best time to kill him. He is also rushing toward the center of the dragon nest. We'll take a shortcut and see if we can get there ahead of everyone else. It'll all be up to your power. Evil Moon was about to say luck but then decided against it. Boom. After passing through seven worlds, Long Chen appeared in a giant space with countless white bones. In the distance, he heard zither music containing killing intent. Zi Yan was fighting against someone. Chapter 2472 Core of the Dragon Nest Long Chen not only heard Zi Yan's zither, but he also heard the sound of intense fights coming from other regions. Ignore them. They are fighting the resentful spirits, while we bypassed them to go to the core of the nest directly, said Evil Moon. Long Chen suppressed his thought of joining with Zi Yan and continued in the direction that Evil Moon indicated. Within an empty void lay a circular entity that looked like a honeycomb. According to Evil Moon, that was the core of the 10,000 dragon nest. Just by getting closer to it, 
Long Chen felt his own essence blood flowing quicker. The dragon blood in your body has formed a resonance with the Dragon King's power. It's just still unclear whether or not this Dragon King was a true dragon, said Evil Moon. Upon entering, Long Chen saw that the passageways were made of white bones. Images of dragons were all along the passageway. Those were not carvings. They seemed to be dragon souls embedded in the walls. The dragons that had died within this nest had their flesh and souls returned to it. It was a calling that made the 10,000 dragon nest grow stronger and stronger. The dragon might was extremely powerful at the core. That sensation was exceptionally intense to Long Chen who possessed dragon blood. It almost felt like it was going to ignite. If he didn't suppress it, his Azure Dragon battle armor would have automatically activated. It seems that the Dragon King isn't welcoming me, said Long Chen. The dragon race is enormous. The true dragon race is the emperor of the dragon race, and they are few in number. However, there is a natural rebellious nature within members of the dragon race. None of them like to be weaker than the others. Your essence blood came from a true dragon who had just matured into an azure dragon. It is like an emperor who is incredibly weak. Even though it is an emperor, it cannot order around a stubborn general. The dragon king here definitely won't submit to you because you are too weak. Just take things step by step. Once we reach the center, we'll know what race the Dragon King was from, said Evil Moon. Long Chen nodded and continued. There were countless dragon images on the walls. Their roars resounded through his head. As his blood raged within him, he had an urge to smash apart the dragon nest. His anger began to rise without him being aware of it. When it reached a certain level, Long Chen suddenly realized that the dragon blood was affecting his emotions. The end of the passageway appeared, and there were nine giant dragon skeletons. Their mouths were open and pointed toward a giant sphere. At this moment, Long Chen realized that he was standing within one of the dragon's eye sockets. So the passageway he had been going through was the body of a dragon. So it's the divine bone spirit dragon race. No wonder the berserk aura isn't very strong, said Evil Moon. What is the divine bone spirit dragon race? How come I've never heard of them? asked Long Chen. The spirit dragon race is another large branch. The divine bone spirit dragon race is the wisest of that branch. They are very smart, but their combat power isn't exceptional. They have a miraculous ability though, which is to nurture divine bones. The core of this dragon nest must be those four divine bones, if they can be obtained. Suddenly, the dragon bone beneath Long Chen's feet lit up, causing him to jump. However, it then faded. Startled, he ran out of the eye socket to the top of the dragon head to see a person. Hu Feng Long Chen hadn't expected to see Hu Feng. Hu Feng on the other hand was delighted to see him. Haha, <laughs> it seems that my prediction was correct. Brother Long, you really are my fated benefactor. You, Long Chen suddenly noticed that the giant die all was spinning behind Hu Feng's back was gone. Instead, it was now in his hand, and he seemed to be doing something with it. Brother Long, I will speak honestly, my heavenly fate die was damaged, and I have never been able to repair it, I need to find a heavenly fate bone and extract its essence, this heavenly fate bone is something only the divine bone spirit dragon can produce, of these nine divine bone spirit dragons, only one produced the heavenly fate bone that I require, however, even after using dozens of drops of dragon blood that I managed to gather in preparation, I am unable to commune with it. Brother Long, I know that you have true dragon essence blood within your body. It can definitely form a bridge between the heavenly fate bone and the divine bone. I was hoping I could use the dragon blood I prepared myself to do it so I wouldn't have to trouble you. But, Hu Feng was embarrassed to make such a demand. Hu Feng had his own pride. This was his first time begging someone for help. It's just a bit of essence blood. It won't harm my core. Brother Hu, if you're going to act so polite with me, I'll be embarrassed to call on you in my next battle, said Long Chen. Long Chen flicked his finger, causing a drop of essence blood to fly out into the center of the formation diagram beneath Hu Feng's feet. The entire dragon skull began to shine, but after a moment, it stopped. Long Chen knew that this meant that his essence blood didn't have enough energy to awaken it. Long Chen sent out three more drops. The dragon skull grew increasingly bright. Countless runes began to light up throughout it. Thirty drops later, 
Hu Feng was too embarrassed to let it continue. He hadn't expected it to require so much energy. At this rate, it would really affect Long Chen, which could be fatal in this dangerous place. Before he could say anything though, Long Chen waved his hand. You can't just give up midway. I feel like it's coming soon. After 18 more drops of his essence blood, the skull shuddered, and a ray of divine light came out of the formation diagram. The divine light was incomparably sacred. Just looking at it calmed the soul. Hu Feng placed his heavenly fate die within its light. As if immersed in sunlight, it began to slowly spin. A certain radiance came from it as it began to manifest the heavenly deos. Brother Long, there are no words I could use to thank you for this favor. If you need anything in the future, just tell me. Hu Feng cupped his fist solemnly. I'm glad to hear it. Remember to come cheer us on in the next battle Long Chen laughed. Since Hu Feng's matter had been settled, he didn't waste any further time. He jumped off the skull and flew toward the sphere at the center. Upon jumping into the sphere, he found himself in a strange world. This place was a barren desert. At the heart of the desert was a giant dragon coiled it up an altar. It's dead. Evil Moon sighed. It was unable to sense any vitality from that dragon. Long Chen flew over and also didn't sense any vitality. However, its scales still emitted some divine radiance. I don't think it's dead yet. Perhaps there's a chance to save it, said Long Chen. It's useless. The flame of its dragon core has started to extinguish. We were too late. If it was still alive, then with its intellect, it would have given all its remaining power to us. Now though, we'll have to think of our own ways to take it. This divine bone spirit dragon has exhausted all its energy defending against the outside world. I'm going to the source down below to extract that energy. I can strengthen myself and also see if I can break free of Yun Shang's seal. Then I would be able to unleash my power without the limitations of your cultivation base. There are four primordial divine bones on the four corners of the altar. They are the foundational sources of the world. Earth, water, fire, wind. They are also the core of the 10,000 dragon nest. Those are priceless treasures. For a human to become a sovereign, they must have a spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone that reaches the necessary level. These four divine bones are the strongest divine treasures for condensing a spirit bone. Now you should understand just how important they are, said Evil Moon. Long Chen's heart shook. Every human could be said to possess a spirit root and spirit blood. It was simply the quality that varied from person to person. It could be made up for with various resources. But he had never heard of a treasure capable of giving a spirit bone to someone without one. However, Evil Moon was saying that these four primordial divine bones could allow a person to produce a spirit bone. That meant that they were truly heaven-defying treasures. It's unfortunate that the Dragon King is dead. The divine bones and blood pool are protected by their own laws. I'm not exactly sure how to take them either. Time is pressing. So I'm going to the source. The dragon source is already starting to wither with the dragon king's death. If it's not taken now, it's going to fade away. Evil Moon transformed into a streak of black light that pierced into the ground, vanishing. Long Chen didn't know what it was using to absorb that dragon source. Long Chen flew onto the altar. He saw four platforms on the four corners each with a fist-sized bone on top of it. Those bones were like jade and shone with divine light. It was possible to see a rune within the bones. That rune. Upon spotting one of those runes, Long Chen's heart trembled. He recognized it. It was the flame rune he had obtained in the immemorial path. Using it as the core, he had created the world annihilation flame lotus. Although the creation of the flame lotus technique had been a success, Long Chen had never managed to fully investigate the secrets of the rune. Based on what he knew though, it was one of the building blocks of this world. The most primordial rune of the four kinds of energy that supposedly first appeared in the world. Long Chen slowly got closer. Suddenly, light blazed from the platform, and a dragon row rang out. Long Chen felt a wave of power knock him back. Long Chen was blown into the distance. When he looked again. He saw that the four platforms were blazing with divine light at the same time. So the four platforms are linked. Long Chen was startled, and his expression became grave. Xia Chen had told him that such a formation needed to be approached and breached from all four directions at the same time. 
Without some special technique, he wouldn't be able to do anything by himself. Chapter 2473 Jarishan How Fast Long Chen had a bad feeling. According to Evil Moon, the direct path that they had traversed should have allowed them to arrive before others. Furthermore, entering this core region had required Evil Moon to activate the power of a real dragon. That was the only reason why they could enter so easily. Others had to bypass a barrier set down by the Dragon King. Getting through it was very difficult and time-consuming. The fact that Feng Fei had arrived right after him meant that she had clearly come prepared. She must have a special method to enter as well. Long Chen stealthily glanced at the other person. He saw that he was small, like a child, startling him. Did Feng Fei have a son? Long Chen couldn't directly look at them for fear of being sensed. He could only try to see them in his peripheral vision. All he saw was that it was a very short person. It seemed that he only reached an adult's waist. However, eventually he was shocked to find that the shorty's face was black with a metallic luster. It was like he was made of steel. Furthermore, his aura was off. It didn't seem to be the aura of flesh and blood. This person gave him an extremely dangerous feeling. Someone else arrived first. He spoke sounding fully mature, but his voice had a metallic tone that was ear-piercing. As soon as he spoke, Long Chen sensed the stones here quivering, as if some kind of energy within them was being activated by him. He's a dwarf. At this moment, Long Chen realized that even in terms of proportion, this person was off. His lower body was much shorter than the rest of him. Get out, or I'll give you a life worse than death. The dwarf sneered his voice resounding throughout heaven and earth, stabbing into Long Chen's ears like millions of needles. This person's cultivation technique was extremely bizarre. Long Chen snorted inside. As expected, the people from the divine families were domineering. It seemed that he already viewed this place as belonging to him. For some reason, this person's voice sounded a bit familiar to Long Chen as if he had heard it before. Based on his sharp memory, if he had seen such a person, there was no way that he would forget. Even if the other side had some ability to make others forget, it wouldn't affect him. Feng Fei, you can take the four divine bones. I'll go find that person, said the dwarf. Feng Fei frowned. Don't waste time. On my own, breaking the seal will take too long. It doesn't matter who it is. As long as they don't hinder us from taking the treasures, there's no need to kill them. There are more important things to do. Unacceptable. I've given them a chance to come up, and they didn't take it, so they can't blame me for being vicious, said the dwarf coldly. He suddenly opened his mouth and roared. A sharp sound resounded through the air, and the earth resonated with his voice. Even the platforms let out sharp cries. It was as if the entire world was returning his call. What kind of power is this? He can control the metal energy within all things? Is this a variant of the earth element? Long Chen's heart shook. This sharp sound stabbed into his soul. He couldn't defend against it, or it would create a reaction and he would be sensed. The divine families really are interesting. Another monster on this level has appeared. Fine, I have more important things to do, so I won't waste time on you. Long Chen snorted inside and placed a hand on a blood mark on the dragon scale. The dragon blood in his body shook, and he instantly vanished. Long Chen's body had just vanished when the void exploded. The dwarf appeared nearby, and he was surprised. Just now, he had sensed someone around here, but by the time he appeared, that person was gone. Get out here. Perhaps I can still spare your life, but if you don't, the dwarf smiled coldly and began to form hand seals. They're already gone. Hurry up and focus on getting the divine bones, said Feng Fei icily, clearly disapproving of his methods. Are you sure? asked the dwarf. I couldn't confirm his position, but I could sense his spiritual fluctuations. Now, they're gone, so he's already left. Although he was hiding his spiritual fluctuations, they felt a bit familiar. If my senses were correct, he was probably Long Chen, said Feng Fei. Long Chen? That genius from the martial heaven continent that the Long family is pulling in? I hear he has some power. HMPH. He was smart to run or I'd have killed him here, snorted the dwarf. Feng Fei frowned at him. It seems that you're leaning toward the Yi family and no longer being neutral, the dwarf arrogantly said. I, Jarishan, 
stand on my own. I don't need to lean on anyone. Other people's grievances and favors have nothing to do with me. It's a shame that the four families' disciples aren't allowed to kill each other. The rankings between the four of us are based on our family rankings. The Zhao family was last in the last two rankings, which is clearly an insult. But do you really think that I am weaker than you three? Feng Fei looked at him and snorted. If you don't like it, you can also rank yourself first. Would that make you feel better? You. Jarishan clenched his fists. Feng Fei's insult had touched a nerve. Stop wasting time. If you would rather go killing, then go. I'll take the divine bones myself. But don't blame me when I don't give you a share. We're the only ones to enter the Starfield Divine World. The other two went to Resentful Death City. At that time, everyone will have advanced. While you gained nothing, don't bark like a wild dog then, said Feng Fei. It seemed that she didn't like working together with this person. Feng Fei, don't think that just because your Jiang family has two sovereign sprouts that you can do whatever you want, shouted Jarishan. If your Zhao family had two sovereign sprouts, you could do the same. Of course, if by yourself you could suppress me and my big brother, you could also do whatever you want. If you have that ability, then quickly take it out. If you don't, then stop talking so much. It would be best if you didn't act so arrogant in front of me. I don't need to give you face when it comes to my actions, said Feng Fei. Also angered now, Feng Fei was a peerless heavenly genius. While Jarishan was acting like he was above her and talking like everyone else should die, it was irritating. She hadn't wanted to enter the Starfield Divine World this time, mostly because she disliked this dwarf. Jarishan was extremely annoying to her. She essentially hadn't spoken to him the entire way here because she thought that she might lose her temper and start fighting. She had endured all the way, but she had had enough. Seeing that she was angered, Jarishan snorted. It was unknown if he felt that he was at a disadvantage or if there was no point in fighting. In the end, he stood beside Feng Fei and took out an ancient jade seal. He pressed it against the barrier. Both of their energies slowly entered the barrier. A pillar of light exploded out of the two of them. The barrier's power is so strong. Just how long is this going to take? Said Jarishan impatiently. This barrier was created by a dragon king. Although the dragon king is dead. Its soul essence has yet to fully fade. This barrier cannot be broken with brute force. We can only slowly draw out the Dragon King's power to weaken the barrier. With both of us working together, at this rate, it should take two months before all the energy is exhausted. Feng Fei then closed her eyes, ignoring him. That long? Fine. If someone else comes in, I'll just kill them. That way, it won't be boring, said Jarishan. Jarishan. I am warning you not to mess around. The four of us have always been living in the heavenly abode. We haven't come into contact with the martial heaven continent. However, the continent has also produced many geniuses. If you create enemies left and right, don't blame me for turning hostile if you cause me trouble, shouted Feng Fei. She truly found Jarishan insufferable. Geniuses? You mean like Long Chen? When he saw me. He was so scared that he didn't dare to reveal himself and directly fled. Such a person can be called a genius? Just living in the same world as me is his sin. Feng Fei, I don't want to be enemies with you. We are collaborating to take the divine bones. You should be clear on your own position and not meddle with my affairs, retorted Jarishan. You're too arrogant. The corrupt paths Yi Miang, Pill Valley's Yu Kingsuan, the elusive music immortal palaces Zi Yan as well as that mysterious heir of the gambling heavenly Tao. None of them are ordinary. There are also the four everlasting families and the dragon blood legion. If you make too many enemies and cause me to fail to take the divine bones, I will make you bear the responsibility for it. Feng Fei's expression sank. She had an urge to kill Jarishan right here and now. Although Feng Fei had confidence in her skills, if so many of those people were angered and attacked the two of them together, Although they would be able to survive, their goal of taking the divine bones would end in failure. They had discussed this from the start. They only wanted the four divine bones. If no one else came by the time they finished, then they would take the dragon body as well. However, if others came at that time, they couldn't expel them. They were already taking the main treasure. They had to leave others something. 
If they didn't, that would only force others to turn against them. Although Feng Fei was arrogant, her arrogance and conceit had their limits. But Jarishan had none of that. He felt that he was the only one worth anything in this world. And he refused to let others even get a look at the treasures here since he felt that they were all his. Feng Fei was starting to grow uneasy. She had a kind of premonition that Jarishan might bring a calamity upon the divine families one day. I don't need you to handle my matters. It just so happens that I can take a look at what the Martial Heaven continent has produced, and whether or not they're worth my attention, sneered Jarishan. As he drew out the barrier's power, he kept a sharp look on the surroundings, a murderous light in his eyes. Chapter 2474 Dragon King Blood Essence Stoned Through the Dragon Scales Rune Long Chen was transported into a different space. There was a giant blood pool here. Rather than calling it a blood pool, it should be called a blood sea. This blood thrummed with vigorous dragon energy. Standing here, Long Chen could sense countless dragons roaring. This is the 10,000 dragon pool. Only pure-blooded dragons that have received the approval of the Dragon King's heroic spirit can enter here. According to Evil Moon, I am the only human in this world in possession of true dragon essence blood. So I'm the only one who can enter. Long Chen examined the surroundings. He noticed that the shore had been turned red by the dragon blood. It was glowing. The dragon bone is the nest, while the dragon blood is the sea. The essence blood of successive generations of dragon experts has been accumulated here. Evil Moon said that when a dragon reaches its limit, when it senses its life starting to fade, it will extract its strongest aspect for its descendants. But 99% of this essence blood has been used up. It seems that the Dragon King must have encountered some terrifying enemy and used up the essence blood for combat power. But in the end, the Dragon King still died. Long Chen sighed. This blood pool was gigantic. But in comparison to its size, it could be said that what remained was only some dregs at the bottom of the pot. Despite just being some dregs, it was an enormous amount. Long Chen couldn't possibly use it all. For some reason. Long Chen was filled with regret for the Dragon King. Long Chen sat by the shore for a while before slowly approaching. The calm dragon pool began to boil when he approached. Roaring rang out in Long Chen's ears. He was no longer able to suppress the dragon blood flowing within his own veins. The Azure Dragon battle armor was unleashed. Dragon roars resounded through the air. Long Chen couldn't control himself. He was unaware that the moment his Azure Dragon battle armor came out, the Dragon King's body on the altar lit up, causing Feng Fei and Jarishan to jump. If the Dragon King was still alive, then considering that the two of them were breaking the foundation of the Dragon Nest, they would definitely be killed. They turned pale, but they already knew that the Divine Races had long since discovered the Dragon Nest and confirmed that the Dragon King was dead. What was unleashing this Dragon Roar? The two of them stared at the Dragon King's body, bewildered. However, when nothing further happened, the two of them continued releasing the energy of the barrier. Long Chen had no idea that he had caused the Dragon King's corpse to react. He was now standing before the blood. The boiling blood had calmed down instantly when his Azure Dragon battle armor came out. As the dragon blood in his veins raged, it unleashed a majestic might as if it was a king looking down on others. Those qualified to leave their blood here were all existences above the Nether Passage realm. But a king is a king. Even though my realm hasn't reached that level, the might of a king can suppress all others. The Azure Dragon is a true dragon. But based on this, it seems that its origins are not ordinary, thought Long Chen. When Long Chen had obtained this Azure Dragon essence blood, he had sworn an oath to the mysterious dragon expert. However, that expert had never communicated with him again, nor was there any connection between them. The green dragon essence blood and the azure dragon essence blood had both come from the same dragon. Its essence blood was enough to make the blood belonging to tens of thousands of dragons submit. Long Chen dove into the pool. The essence blood didn't attack him. However, it also didn't express any friendliness. He felt as if it was coldly staring at him. Immense pressure came upon him from every direction within the blood pool. And if it wasn't for the azure dragon battle armor it would have been enough to crush his body. Long Chen quickly reached the bottom of the blood pool. Here, he saw a fist-sized crystal, blood essence stone, and one from a dragon king at that. 
Long Chen couldn't help being shaken. Evil Moon had said that that the Blood Essence Stone was the foundation of the 10,000 Dragon Nest. First came the Blood Essence Stone, then the Four Divine Bones, and then the rest of the nest. The Blood Essence Stone was floating at the bottom of the pool and slowly spinning as it did so. Multicolored light shone in the surrounding space around it, but that light only stretched within 10 feet of it. Within that beautiful light was a terrifying power. Every strand of it possessed the power of a Dragon King. To the current Long Chen, just touching it might be fatal. The Dragon King was already dead, so this Blood Essence Stone was a masterless object. If he wanted to take it, it would definitely instinctively resist. This is crazy. Despite saying that, Long Chen still reached out. The instant he touched the barrier, the multicolored light within went berserk. Its killing intent made Long Chen's hair stand on end. He immediately retreated. If he angered this blood essence stone, he would be instantly wiped out. What to do? Long Chen was stuck in a difficult place. His dragon blood could suppress other dragons' blood but not the blood essence stone of the dragon king. The fact that the blood essence stone hadn't directly attacked was most likely giving face to the true dragon essence blood within his body. It had just given a warning. If he tried again though, it would definitely attack. Long Chen just stared at it. As he didn't approach again, the violent light returned to calm. Long Chen extended a hand carefully, using his spiritual strength to express his good intentions. But either the blood essence stone was declining to communicate with him, or it didn't have its own consciousness. It entered a berserk state once more, causing Long Chen to instantly pull his hand back. This time, he saw blood droplets come out of his arm. When he looked closely, he was shocked to find that his arm had cracked. This is the backlash? Damn, the Dragon King's power is so great. How could such a terrifying existence die? Long Chen was stunned. This Dragon King was truly worthy of admiration. No wonder Evil Moon had told him to be careful. If he couldn't obtain it, he shouldn't force it, or he would die. What a shame that the Dragon King is already dead. Perhaps if it was still alive, I could communicate with it. Now. It can only act instinctively. Long Chen sighed helplessly. This was a problem that intelligence could not resolve. As for power, that was nonsense. At this time, the old man would definitely accurately say that in front of this absolute power, no schemes would help. The essence bloodstone hadn't even directly attacked Long Chen, but just touching the power of a dragon king was unbearable for him. Fine, I'll test my peerless move. Long Chen took a deep breath. Forming hand seals, the primal chaos space shuddered. Spatial energy enveloped the essence blood stone. Suddenly, the essence blood stone went berserk. Long Chen wanted to draw it into the primal chaos space. Enraging it, a furious dragon cry rang out as it fought. The primal chaos space shuddered intensely, following which a sacred, indomitable aura rose. Long Chen was delighted. The essence blood stone had finally provoked the primal chaos bead's power. Long Chen had never been clear on the primal chaos bead's power, but he knew it was an extremely terrifying existence. He just didn't know whether or not it could suppress the essence blood stone. The essence blood stone's light intensified. It seemed as if two formless powers were clashing. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out from within the primal chaos space, and a boundless pressure appeared. The primal chaos bead seemed to be enraged. In front of that pressure, the essence blood stone went still. Its power seemed to have been suppressed and it began to float over. Long Chen was delighted. Just as he thought that he would be able to smoothly obtain it, cracking sounds rang out. Tiny cracks appeared all over the essence blood stone. Long Chen jumped and immediately stopped the primal chaos bead. When its suction came to a stop, the essence blood stone returned to its original location and appearance. Even in front of absolute power, it refuses to submit. It would rather break. Fine, it would be far too regretful to break such a divine treasure. Since it has no fate with me, I'll leave it to others. Long Chen sighed. Although he felt unwilling, he decided to give up. The primal chaos bead had once more proven its power, but regretfully, he couldn't control it. He couldn't safely take the essence blood stone. He had thought that all schemes were useless in front of absolute power. That principle received a blow now when he found that even with absolute power, 
He couldn't take the essence bloodstone. Fuck. Is it really something requiring brains over brawn? Long Chen was extremely unwilling to leave things just like this. Calm down. I can think of something. Long Chen took a deep breath and sat to the side of the essence bloodstone. The multicolored light continued to shine brightly. It formed a beautiful image with the essence bloodstone at the core of the image. It was like a flower blooming. Long Chen was staring at it silently when he suddenly shot up. Could it be? A bone tile appeared in Long Chen's hand. There was also an image carved into it. Long Chen stared at it in disbelief. Chapter 2475 A treasure left for who? The instant the bone tile appeared, the blood pool went silent. The bone tile began to radiate the same light as the blood essence stone. Is this bone tile supposed to be used here? Long Chen slowly sent the bone tile toward the blood essence stone. This time, it didn't reject him. It allowed him to get closer and closer until he actually touched it. In that instant, his vision darkened and the blood pool was gone. A white-haired elder appeared before him. The white-haired elder was skinny and had his back to him. His hands were clasped behind him. He slowly turned around when Long Chen appeared. The first thing that Long Chen noticed were his eyes. They were eyes that could see through the world. Eyes that had seen the transformations of the universe. Those eyes were full of wisdom. He felt like they could see through all his secrets. The elder seemed startled to see Long Chen. I didn't expect that the one I was waiting for would be a human with true dragon essence blood. The elder's voice was gentle. Every one of his words seemed to possess an unfathomable intelligence. As if every word contained a kind of Tao. Junior Long Chen greets Senior Long Chen hastily bowed. Wondering to himself if this person was the master of the 10,000 dragon nest. The elder nodded. How curious. Are you Yun Chang's descendant? No. Sovereign Yun Chang and I have only met once. Long Chen was startled. Then that's strange. Yun Chang told me that his descendant would one day come with that bone tile. But you have true dragon essence blood. And your aura is completely different from Yun Chang's. It's hard to believe the elder paused. Seemingly encountering some difficulty. Senior. Did Sovereign Yun Chang have an agreement with you back in the day? Probed Long Chen. The elder nodded. Back then, Yun Chang arrived just as I entered the final stage of my battle against the heaven devouring evil king. If it wasn't for Yun Chang, I would have died to the heaven devouring evil king, and he would have activated the heaven devouring soul recollection art to revive a portion of his fallen black armor warriors, destroying the Starfield Divine World. It was Yun Chang who came at a critical moment to help me but I had exhausted my source by then. I didn't even have a chance to undergo nirvanic rebirth. To thank Yun Chang, I left the 10,000 dragon nest to him, but he didn't want it, saying that his descendant would need it in the future. I gave him this crystal bone as a token of trust, and then I ran out of energy. Just as I died, I left behind my soul essence to guard this place and wait for the person with the crystal bone. Now you've come, but you aren't Yun Chang's descendant. You also possess true dragon essence blood. This karma is incomprehensible to me. Furthermore, as just a wisp of soul essence, I no longer have the power to divine anything. Long Chen was shocked. Did Sovereign Yun Chang have descendants? That didn't make sense. The sovereigns were all solitary figures who didn't even have wives. How could they have children? Long Chen said, since Sovereign Yun Chang left it to his descendant, then this treasure should have no fate with me. I'll take my leave. I apologize for disturbing you. If it was someone else's treasures, then he might fight over them. But if it was something that Sovereign Yun Chang had left for someone else, then there had to be a deeper meaning behind it. He couldn't fight over it. Slow down. The elder shook his head. The karma involved in this must have grown muddled somewhere. Yun Chang was the son of the heavens. He possessed heavenly fate eyes capable of seeing the past and future. He wouldn't have made such a mistake in theory. But you've still come. Whether or not you are Yun Chang's descendant, you have to take the blood essence stone. The crystal bone has already broken the barrier. I no longer have the power to protect it. This crystal bone can also break the barrier outside so that you can take the four divine bones. That doesn't seem too suitable Long Chen hesitated. Of course. You don't have to take them. You can leave them for others to take. It's up to you, said the elder. Well, if it's just going to benefit others, 
I'd rather it benefit me. Long Chen smiled. How curious. Although you're a human, you have true dragon essence blood, and it has practically flawlessly merged with you. No spirit root but capable of using all elements. No spirit bone but capable of manifesting all living things. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't have the energy to divine it. Our meeting can also count as destiny. Your azure dragon essence blood is pure, but it's lacking in power. Even though you have refined it, the power you can control is still limited. You can't even use the dragon race's divine abilities. Let me help you cleanse your azure dragon essence blood and send my own essence blood into your body. With how easily you could assimilate with true dragon essence blood, you should be able to perfectly control my power. As for how many of the dragon race's divine abilities you can control, it'll depend on your own power. The elder placed a hand on Long Chen's shoulder. He seemed a bit curious as if he wanted to know what would happen if Long Chen absorbed his dragon blood. Senior, you can't, exclaimed Long Chen. Why not? The elder was startled. This was something any human would dream of obtaining. Senior, when I was in great danger, I was saved by the owner of this essence blood. If it weren't for that dragon, I would have died. I have an agreement with that senior to help them accomplish one thing. Even though so many years have passed, they have never told me anything. If I were to cleanse their dragon blood, that senior might not be able to find me. Then I would have broken our agreement. That is a betrayal, said Long Chen. Just as Long Chen spoke, within a distant starry sky, a dragon that had transcended time and space slowly opened one of its eyes. Its eye was bigger than a star. Within the countless stars reflected in its eyes, there was one particular speck of dust that drew his attention. A mark appeared in its eye. That eye quivered ever so slightly and then passed through the void. After that, the giant eye closed. How boring. A voice resounded through the star. That voice was icy cold yet also seemed to contain a trace of gratification. Suddenly, a mark appeared in the elder's eyes. That mark was identical to the mark that had appeared within the giant eye. So that's the case. The elder suddenly laughed. He pressed down on Long Chen's body, and a majestic power poured inside of him. Senior, you. Long Chen was shocked and enraged. Stop. Long Chen unleashed his full power. As a result, Blood Chi furiously crashed within his body. He was trying to force out the elder's dragon blood, but now his body was automatically absorbing it. It felt like lava was pouring into his body. Are you a bastard or just sick in the head? Roared Long Chen. However, no matter how he resisted, it didn't have any use. He wanted to use the primal chaos bead's power, but he didn't know how to use it. It never listened to his orders. This elder was not a thing that he could suck in. Ha ha ha. What an interesting brat. The elder laughed instead of getting angry, seeing Long Chen's veins throbbing and how murderous he looked. The elder said, I'm not cleansing your dragon blood, nor do I have that ability. I am simply helping you make up for some dragon chi that you are lacking. The azure dragon reverse scale that you obtained was a bit deficient in essence blood due to some unexpected events when the scale fell from its master. Furthermore, after tens of thousands of years, the essence of it slowly faded. By the time you obtained it, it had lost most of its essence resulting in you being unable to awaken the dragon race's divine abilities when you refined it. How? How do you know all this? Asked Long Chen. The elder smiled and didn't reply directly. I am now trying to use my essence blood to stimulate your true dragon essence blood. That will strengthen your dragon blood power, strengthening your physical body. If you're lucky, perhaps you can obtain that expert's divine abilities. However, that process will be very painful. So you have to be mentally prepared Long Chen was delighted. I'm prepared. As long as you don't wash away my original dragon blood, I'm not afraid of any pain. The elder nodded. The mark appeared in his eyes once more. All right, then I'm beginning. Although Long Chen was prepared, when the pain started, he clenched his teeth so hard that they almost shattered. Within his body, it felt like thorns were passing through his veins. He felt all his nerves instantly become taut. His hair stood on end. However, he didn't make a sound. The elder nodded. Not bad. Even amongst the dragon race, not many could endure this pain. However, you cannot faint. Closely examine your dragon blood as it flows through your veins. 
That's the only way you will be able to perfectly control any divine abilities that you awaken. Long Chen did his best to nod. He couldn't speak because of the pain. The more painful it was, the sharper his senses grew. Runes began to appear within his blood. Once they appeared, they entered his head. A rune appeared on his forehead, gradually growing clearer until it began to shine brightly. Boom. Divine light exploded out of Long Chen. Long Chen's blood chi instantly ignited, and a dragon cry resounded through this space. Chapter 2476 Azure Dragon Seal The rune on Long Chen's forehead slowly faded. Long Chen felt as if something new had appeared in his memories. Long Chen slowly extended a hand. Lines had appeared within one of the scales on his palm. When he clenched his fist, space shuddered and rumbled. Just by clenching his fist, ripples appeared in the void. This is. Long Chen was startled and delighted. He looked at the rune on his palm with disbelief. The Azure Dragon Seal? I didn't expect you to awaken this divine ability, said the elder. Is this move very amazing? Asked Long Chen excitedly. This Azure Dragon Seal. Amongst the adult true dragon race's 30 divine abilities it is the weakest, said the elder hesitantly. What? I feel like it's very powerful. Long Chen looked at his hands. The power from the upgraded scale made him feel like he could tear apart the void. How could this be the weakest? To the true dragon race, the Azure Dragon Seal is the least useful technique. It is sometimes used to strengthen one part of the body. But the true dragon race's physical body is incomparably powerful. So this technique is meaningless. It is the weakest in defensive power and killing power. Cough. You wouldn't be feeling bad about me saying these things. Right. The elder seemed embarrassed to say these things. No. It's not your fault. It might be meaningless to the dragon race. But it's useful to me. I'm not a true dragon. So I can strengthen my body with this. I'll be able to take on divine items with my bare hands now. My strongest fighting style is close range. So this Azure Dragon Seal is perfect for me, said Long Chen with a laugh. All right, I was feeling pity for you, but now it seems that you like this technique. I won't mention the other world destroying divine abilities of the true dragon race. This attitude of yours is truly good. Just how many cultivators could achieve this kind of calm? No wonder that the elder suddenly shut his mouth. Long Chen didn't notice this oddity. He said, My luck has always been bad. So if I didn't have a way to comfort myself, I'd have probably killed myself a long time ago. I'm used to it. Senior, are you the Dragon King? I feel like this dragon nest's growth and birth seems to reflect the growth of the entire cosmos. Can you let me see how the 10,000 dragon nest was created? The principles behind the 10,000 dragon nest were related to the essence of the universe. The elder stared at Long Chen and suddenly laughed. Everyone who comes here comes in search of treasure, but none of them realizes what the true treasure is. Congratulations. You are the first one capable of seeing so deeply. Long Chen probed. Senior, are you about to say something along the lines of but, however, unfortunately, and such. Ha ha ha. The elder laughed heartily before saying, however, unfortunately, this treasure isn't something that can be given. It can only be comprehended by oneself. This is a true grand Tao, something that cannot be transmitted through the mouth, nor can it be written down. The secrets of the universe are seen differently by everyone. All right, I don't really get it, but it sounds pretty amazing. Since I can't have it for now, I won't think about it, said Long Chen. He knew that he wouldn't have good enough luck to obtain such a treasure. If someone as powerful as this unimaginably strong dragon king refused to tell him, then he had to have his reasons. Perhaps even he didn't dare to break some taboos. Is the one down in the dragon source that's absorbing my energy your friend? Asked the elder suddenly. Ah, you must be talking about Evil Moon. Yes, that's my life and death partner, said Long Chen. Are you sure? It used to be someone stronger than me. By absorbing the energy of the dragon source, it is weakening Yun Shang's seal. The dark evil dragon race is the most bloodthirsty, most violent, and most evil of the evil dragons. I still have some power and can stop it if you wish. Otherwise, once Yun Shang's seal is broken, the first one it will devour is you, warned the elder. No, I trust it completely. Evil Moon will not betray me. It's not just my weapon or a gambling chip. 
I trust Evil Moon with my life. Senior, please allow it to absorb whatever it wants, said Long Chen. Although Evil Moon was wicked, for some reason, Long Chen sometimes formed a resonance with it. Perhaps he himself was also wicked, making them a perfect match. Birds of a feather flock together? He didn't know, but he refused to believe that Evil Moon would betray him. What he didn't know was that his conversation with this elder was being heard word for word by Evil Moon. What a fool. Evil Moon sighed. Now it understood why Yun Shang had left it to Long Chen. It found that it was being infected by Long Chen's feelings. An existence who had never had feelings to move was finally moved. The word partner had felt completely foreign to it before. The elder nodded. Then I won't bother it. Let's talk about the Azure Dragon Seal. It is a dragon blood rune that can enter an offensive and defensive state. When you clenched your fist, it was in an offensive state, but you still haven't gained control over its essentials. It is different from the human race's magical arts. There is nothing about the cooperation between the heart, mind, and soul. Due to being the most basic divine ability, it also has no hand seals. It only requires the correct application of your essence blood. The elder raised a finger and touched Long Chen's shoulder. Just like that, Long Chen's shoulder was pierced. Blood splattered, and the pain startled Long Chen. Senior, you, despite his current state with the Azure Dragon battle armor, this elder casually injured him without him being able to resist. If the elder wanted to kill him, wouldn't he be dead in one blow? The elder pointed at his wound. And only when Long Chen looked closely did he see runes appear on the dragon scales around the wound. Those runes were healing his wound without him circulating his life energy. In just a few seconds, the wound healed. Do you see? The rune is the same, but the color is different. The red rune represents offense, while green represents defense. If you were part of the dragon race, you wouldn't need to actively defend. Your dragon blood would automatically switch from offense to defense to block this attack. However, you haven't nurtured the reactions of your dragon blood, causing it to be too slow. It should have instantly healed, but instead took this long. If you want to control this technique, you'll need to work hard on controlling your essence blood. Here, attack me now with your most proficient technique, said the elder. With almost no hesitation, Long Chen unleashed a slap. It was only once his hand was moving that he realized this was wrong, and he hastily switched it to a claw toward the elder's chest. Long Chen's movements were extremely fast, but the elder easily caught Long Chen's wrist. He instantly felt like his wrist had been caught by a steel lock. He found himself unable to use the slightest bit of power. Long Chen was startled by this. Was this the power of a dragon king? No. The Dragon King had lost his physical body and was nothing more than a strand of soul essence. How could he possess such power? Just how strong had he been before? Your movements were incorrect. For humans, it is correct for the will to move first. But the Dragon Race uses brute power. Our fighting style is violent and domineering. It is direct with the goal being to crush all opposition. As long as you are strong enough, it doesn't matter what technique you use. Even a fart can make an army collapse. If you aren't strong enough, then no matter what technique you use, it's just a monkey's play. You won't be able to resonate with your dragon blood if you fight like this. Without the power of your dragon blood supporting you, the rune will become weak. Try again. This time, don't use your spiritual yuan or soul energy. Forget about them. Use only brute power. That is the power of the physical body, said the elder pushing Long Chen back several steps. His gaze became sharp like a strict teacher. Long Chen gratefully nodded. He took a deep breath and clenched his fists. His essence blood flowed within his body rapidly, rumbling. A rune lit up on his fist. Just as Long Chen began to accumulate power, his essence blood began to boil, and power burst through his veins like a volcano exploding. At this moment, Long Chen experienced what it meant for his dragon blood to resonate with the Azure Dragon Seal. He easily condensed all his power into his fist. With a shout, Long Chen smashed his fist at the elder. The void collapsed. As if unable to bear this power, the elder exploded. The space that they were in vanished, and the red essence stone appeared in front of him. Senior Long Chen let out a startled cry. However, no one replied. It was like everything had been a dream. 
Long Chen stared at the essence bloodstone in front of him. Eventually, Long Chen bowed deeply toward the essence bloodstone and took it. Upon touching it, he felt a close connection to it. He knew that the Dragon King had inserted the essence blood within the stone into his body, resulting in this connection. Long Chen realized that its power had weakened immensely. He estimated that the Elder had inserted at least half of its power into his body. Within the blood pool, all the essence blood of the dragons prostrated toward him. It was as if he had become the Dragon King. Long Chen formed a hand seal, sucking the blood pool and the essence blood stone into the primal chaos space. After that, Long Chen returned to the entrance. When he passed through the barrier, he once more appeared beneath the reverse scale of the Dragon King's corpse. He had only just appeared when countless sharp arrows shot toward him. Chapter 2477 I want to kill someone The sharp arrows pierced through the air so quickly that Long Chen didn't even have time to dodge. This was a perfectly timed trap. Despite doing his best, his shoulder and arm were pierced. It was unknown what material they were made of but they managed to ignore the defenses of his dragon scales. When his body was pierced, some kind of energy attached to the arrows caused his flesh to begin hardening. It started to transform into black steel. Ha ha ha, little brat. I told you to get out here but you refused. Now even if you kneel and beg for mercy, it won't work. Laughter rang out. The dwarf appeared in front of Long Chen, looking down on him disdainfully. Idiot, now that you've injured me. Even if you kneel and beg for mercy, it won't work. Long Chen's killing intent instantly erupted. He had been careless. This sneak attack might have pierced his head if he hadn't been in his peak state with the Azure Dragon battle armor active. Two chunks of metal fell from his wounds. He had never seen this kind of power before, and if his own power wasn't strong enough to force this strange energy out, it would probably have only taken a few breaths time before he turned into a metal statue. If struck in the head, then that would be extremely dangerous. Jarishan, Long Chen can count as an ally of the divine families. Don't go too far. This matter can end here. Long Chen, leave, said Feng Fei. An ally? What a farce. After being away for a few years, have the divine families fallen to the extent of needing allies? Brat, everything here belongs to me. So if you want to leave, hand over whatever treasures you got demanded Jarishan. He clearly knew that during the time Long Chen had been gone, it was very likely that he had obtained some treasure. Who do you think you are to act arrogant in front of me? Long Chen stepped forward and unleashed a punch. You really are a fool. Do you think you're qualified to attack me? Jarishan sneered and also unleashed a punch. Although Jarishan was short, his punch caused heaven and earth to quiver along with him, even without his manifestation appearing. Specks of light manifested in the air like stars. His body of flesh and blood instantly transformed into metal. It was a bizarre sight. Their two fists collided, but the sound was off, sounding more like two metallic fists colliding. Long Chen's fist was covered in dragon scales. It was like he was wearing a set of tough gloves. Jarishan was knocked back a dozen steps, his fist gone. It had been destroyed but no blood flowed out. It was just like a piece of blown up metal. The power of his physical body is enough to break Jarishan's million metal body. Feng Fei's pupils shrank. She was well aware of how powerful Jarishan was. He was born with an innate body of metal. He could control all metal within the world. His body was no longer flesh and blood but an undying body of metal. Divine items couldn't break it. But a punch from Long Chen could. Ha ha ha. You're a bit interesting. Killing you will be fun. Jarishan looked at his hand that had been blown up and laughed. His metallic body quickly healed, not even leaving a mark where his wound had been. Your laughter is really hateful. I feel like I've heard it before Long Chen stared at Jarishan. Suddenly, he icily asked. Back in the immemorial path, there were four idiots undergoing tribulations. One of them sounded like you. Jarishan's expression instantly changed. Killing intent exploded out of him. You bastard. That was you. You ruined our tribulation. We had to undergo a second tribulation that was unbearably painful to make up for that. Die. Jarishan furiously attacked. So it really was you. Good. Then we can settle our old and new enmities together. Long Chen was also enraged. Those four idiots had almost gotten Yu Ziaoki and killed. 
He always remembered this enmity. Who do you think you are? I'll crush you into rotten flesh in an instant, roared Jarishan. His body exploded with light. Countless runes lit up, turning him into an unstoppable monster made of a million metals. Then I'll crush you into rotten metal. Long Chen faced Jarishan's furious charge with his fists. Runes lit up on Long Chen's fists. Every punch caused the void to collapse. When they landed on Jarishan, although they no longer caused his body to explode like their first exchange, they still left large dents in his metallic body. However, Long Chen's fists also received repercussions. Jarishan's body was incredibly hard, even harder than divine items. Long Chen had just knocked Jarishan back when Jarishan opened his mouth. All of a sudden, his tongue transformed into a sharp sword piercing toward Long Chen's head. Long Chen hastily twisted his neck, causing the tongue to leave a long cut along his forehead. The wound quickly turned black and began to metalize. Long Chen grabbed Jarishan's tongue and then kicked Jarishan's jaw. Jarishan was kicked away, while half of a sharp sword remained in Long Chen's hand. Long Chen wiped his forehead tearing off the lump of metal that appeared there, before once more charging at Jarishan. Just at that moment, this space quivered. Several people appeared from multiple directions. Long Chen, a woman with a bow on her back was startled after seeing the scene before her. She was beating Rushuang, and she had entered along with Nangong Zuayu. Others had also come at the same time from other directions. Some of them were from the corrupt path, while some were from neutral powers. However, those people weren't particularly famous. Most likely, they were rather low-key and liked to conceal their power. If they weren't strong enough, there was no way they could have reached this point. Senior Feng Fei, what is happening here? Asked Nangong Zuayu. She quickly saw the giant dragon corpse as well as the barrier around the four divine bones. Was this a fight for the treasures? This is a personal grievance between the two of them that has nothing to do with others. However, these four divine bones belong to the divine families. All the other treasures are up to your own luck, said Feng Fei coldly. Clearly, she was announcing that the main treasure, the four divine bones, was hers. Her tone was quite domineering. The other experts' expressions changed as they knew what a divine bone signified. Feng Fei was occupying all four of them with just a word. She had gone too far. Are the divine families really going to act like this? Based on what demanded someone, based on the fact that we arrived here first, snorted Feng Fei, I got here before you, so why don't you just scram, sneered Long Chen as he punched Jarishan back, Long Chen didn't have good feelings toward the divine families, even the peerlessly beautiful Feng Fei had a dislikable tone, a group of ants dare to fight a dragon, if you want the treasures, then bring out your power, if you don't want to live any longer. Why not try to fight against us? Shouted Jarishan arrogantly as he charged back at Long Chen. As a result, he had just gotten close to Long Chen when he was sent flying back by a kick. The power of this kick created shocking ripples in the void. If you want to fight over them, go ahead. But don't blame me for being merciless at that time, said Feng Fei icily. The other experts twitched. They looked at the four divine bones but didn't dare to go over there. Long Chen. Do you want our help? The divine families have really gone too far. Bidang Rushuang sent Long Chen a spiritual message. Feng Fei and Jarishan's arrogant and domineering actions had angered her. Not yet. You and Miss Nangong should go over to the Dragon King's body and try to comprehend its power. I'm going to test out this dwarf's power, replied Long Chen. A dragon corpse was a treasure in and of itself. Every scale contained its own Dao charm. Although the Dragon King was already dead, the Dao charm remained. Gaining comprehension from it and corroborating your own Dao from it would be very beneficial. Nangong Zuayu looked from Feng Fei to Long Chen and Jarishan. In the end, she chose to walk over to the Dragon's corpse. Following her, the others also made their moves. But rather than going toward the corpse, they went around the altar in search of other treasures. Bidang Rushuang and Nangong Zuayu trusted Long Chen's choice. He had to have already explored the surroundings and knew that there was nothing better than the dragon corpse. Long Chen, do you only have this little bit of power? Asked Jarishan. The two of them were still fighting with their hands and feet, neither suppressing the other. Shouldn't I be the one saying that? Back in the immemorial path, 
You all acted like heavenly kings, but didn't you still tuck your tails between your legs and run? Don't play this kind of game with me. You want me to ask my friends to fight you together so you have a reason to carry out a slaughter? An idiot like you shouldn't try to play mind games with me, sneered Long Chen. He forced Jarishan back with a punch and then shook out his hands. A smile gradually appeared on his face. He was coming to grasp what the Dragon King had told him about using his dragon blood to fight. Ha 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 ha. Suddenly, the space shook once more. An arrogant and wretched laugh rang out. I hereby announce that all the treasures here belong to me. Mo Nian. No one can touch them. Mo Nian appeared in the air. With his arrival, Long Chen's aura suddenly explosively grew. His blood chi raged within him. Mo Nian. Cover me. I want to kill someone today. Chapter 2478 A Wild Dragon's Power Long Chen was precisely waiting for Mo Nian to arrive. For him to only arrive at this time must mean that he had taken the wrong path, costing him quite a bit of time. With Mo Nian here, Long Chen no longer had any misjivings. His Azure Dragon Essence blood began to fill his body with power. Hey, wait a minute. Long Chen, when did you become so classless? You're going to bully a child. Mo Nian looked at the short Jarishan in confusion. This was definitely an act. He had to have noticed that Jarishan was a dwarf but still called him a child. With just a word, Mo Nian had stabbed Jarishan where it hurt. Jarishan had been born with his metal body. Due to awakening his talent too early, his body was unable to grow like others. That was the source of the darkness in his heart. Die. Jarishan furiously pointed a finger and an arrow shot at Mo Nian. Watch out, warned Long Chen, worried that Mo Nian would underestimate Jarishan's power. Bang! Jarishan's arrow exploded in midair as if it had been struck by an invisible arrow. Fragments shot out in every direction. Quite a few fragments landed in the ground, causing lumps of metal to start growing. Mo Nian exclaimed, Damn, you can turn things into metal? Not bad, little fellow. Are you interested in opening a blacksmith shop with me? Mo Nian had not witnessed this kind of power before, but his mouth did not spare Jarishan. He managed to turn Jarishan's innate divine ability into a tool for making a living. You dare to blaspheme me? I'll kill you. Jarishan's eyes turned scarlet. Shorty, your opponent is me. Long Chen blocked Jarishan's path. Die. Jarishan was further enraged and his hands clawed toward Long Chen as if wanting to tear him apart. His claws reached Long Chen instantaneously, but before they could touch him, a hand struck him in the face from a strange angle, causing his metallic face to distort. He smashed into the ground. A wave of earth shocked the experts that had arrived. Jarishan's head had been flattened by Long Chen. It no longer looked like a head. Instead, it was like a pot lid. The power of that slap was so immense that others couldn't believe it. Even Long Chen stared at his palm in surprise. In their fight, Jarishan had been acting like he was merely even with Long Chen as bait to make others join forces against him. That way, he would have a reason to kill them all. However, Long Chen had not used his full power either. He had not even displayed his face slapping divine art. That was because he was worried about Jarishan going crazy and starting a slaughter before Mo Nian arrived. Now that Mo Nian was here, Long Chen didn't need to worry about the others. He directly used his slap. This technique, which was originally just a humiliating blow to the mind, had now become a peerless attack. There probably weren't many people capable of receiving it. Mo Nian, Nangong Zuayu, and Bidang Rushuang were all startled at Jarishan's current appearance. He no longer appeared human. Jarishan's head tottered. Stars were spinning in his mind. Although he didn't have a body of flesh, this slap had been truly vicious, causing him to temporarily lose his senses. If it was another expert, not even a trace of their skull would remain. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed excitedly. This was power. True power. The power of the dragon was used through the flesh and blood. By using his spiritual yuan to control it, it naturally grew sluggish. With the Dragon King's pointers, Long Chen basked in the sensation of being in control of such immense power. The other experts were stunned because the current Long Chen had yet to even bring out his signature technique, his divine ring. Just by using the power of his physical body, he had unleashed such terrifying power. Long Chen definitely isn't human. 
How could a human possess such a physical body? Guessed one of those experts. Amongst everyone present, the one who was the most shocked was Feng Fei. Only she was aware of just how monstrous Jarishan's million metal body was. However, that body was like dough in front of Long Chen. Very good, Long Chen. You've managed to fully enrage me. Jarishan's flattened head returned to its normal state. A harsh light shone in his eyes. That has to be an undying body. A chill ran through the experts witnessing this. Jarishan seemed to have no weaknesses. Even with his head flattened, he wasn't injured. Fighting an undying body like that would make a person give up hope. Jarishan sinisterly said, Back in the immemorial path, I think I recall that you mentioned your name, but I'm not in the habit of remembering other people's names. I didn't even recall it when I heard your name, but I'll remember it now. You're the first one qualified to be killed by me ever since I came from the battlefield against the other races. The earth began to shake. The ground suddenly split open, and a torrent of mountain peaks began to spurt out of the ground like bamboo after a spring rain. Those mountains were all different colors, but they had a metallic luster to them. They seemed made out of metal. This is, everyone's jaws dropped. They realized that these mountains were solid objects made of immortal and divine metals Noveloon.com Dam. Ignoring how strong this shorty Zhao is, his metal controlling powers are enough to make him become the richest man alive. Mo Nian was also stunned, looking at the endless precious metals coming out of the ground. His eyes reddened. Wouldn't someone with this power have an endless supply of divine materials? Jarishan's body was an unending source of treasures. Nangong Zuiyu shook her head. That is impossible. His own ability makes it so that he has to exhaust endless resources just to activate it. The legends say that the million metal body requires all kinds of materials to be absorbed once the body's innate divine abilities are awakened. The more metal energy he absorbs, the stronger he grows. The amount of resources he has absorbed has to be unimaginable. Even if an entire world's power was gathered just for him, it still might not be enough to feed him. He is most likely forced to constantly wander through worlds gathering their metal energy for himself. Perhaps only the divine families have the ability to raise such a terrifying monster. We are now within his manifestation. This place has become his world. A world full of metal energy. What are you talking about? The dragon corpse and altar are still there. How is this place his manifestation? Asked Mo Nian. Nangong Zuiyu answered. As long as there is metal within the world, he is capable of assimilating it. These mountains were brought forth by his energy. He can use their energy as he pleases. Do you see the metallic mountains behind him? Those aren't physical objects but his manifestation. His manifestation's power has merged with reality, turning him into the ruler of this world. Long Chen is correct. This person is incredibly vicious and sinister. He was acting weak in hopes that we would help Long Chen, giving him enough reason to kill us all. Due to awakening his divine ability too early, he was stuck in his dwarf form. His heart grew twisted then, resulting in this nature. I can see the brutality in his eyes. Nangong Zuiya was worried. For such a brutal person to appear amongst the divine families was not a good thing. Such a person could no longer be judged according to a normal person's logic. His twisted heart made it almost impossible to work together with him. No need to worry. Long Chen will definitely beat him to death, said Mo Nian with a smile. He wasn't worried at all. Nangong Zuiyu shook her head. The million metal body is a kind of undying body. His body has no weak points, and his energy comes from the world and his manifestation. No matter how strong a person is, how are they supposed to fight against an entire world? Even if Long Chen can fight with Jarishan evenly for a time, Jarishan's energy will replenish infinitely, while Long Chen's energy is slowly ground down. We have to be ready to help as soon as Long Chen can't endure any longer. The first thing to do is break his manifestation. Nangong Zuiyu's steady nature had her preparing a backup plan. Jarishan was absolutely terrifying. Just as she was speaking, the terrain continued to change. The world had been completely transformed. The altar was now surrounded by mountains of metal, and this place had become a world of metal. A metallic ringing was constantly present. It was as if the very air was being infected. Long Chen, your close female friend is worried about you being beaten by that shorty Zhao. 
I told her that he isn't a match for you, and that you could crush him just by taking off your pants and pissing on him. I finished bragging for you, so don't turn me into a liar. Mo Nyan cupped his hands over his mouth and shouted loudly. Jarishan's hair stood on end from fury. His body transformed, going from black to every color of the rainbow. The mountains shuddered and space froze. Everyone present felt like they were bound by countless invisible chains. They couldn't move. They were appalled. Jarishan was targeting Long Chen, but they were still affected to this extent. Then the pressure that Long Chen was under must be unimaginable. Taste my fist. Jarishan unleashed a punch, his fist shining with multicolored divine light. This was a fist that contained the power to destroy heaven and earth. Chapter 2479 Giant Spirit Breaks the Heavens Even Tasting Ten of Your Fists Would Be Nothing, mocked Long Chen. Jarishan had now become the ruler of this world. Every one of his movements was backed by immense power. If it was before he had entered the 10,000 Dragon Nest, Long Chen would know that he wasn't a match for such an opponent. But his current self was confident. His divine ring appeared behind him with 108,000 stars shining within it, matching the 108,000 dragon scales that appeared on his body. Long Chen also unleashed a punch, meeting Jarishan's fist head on. A blinding light exploded when their two fists collided. The other experts felt like the world had compressed. A sharp pain crashed down on their chests. It felt like their hearts would explode. Runes appeared on Long Chen's fist as he felt the dragon blood in his veins igniting. The essence blood that the Dragon King had given him was nourishing the Azure Dragon Essence blood. Long Chen immediately realized that in order to refine his Azure Dragon Essence blood with the Dragon King's blood, battle was necessary. As his blood ignited, power poured throughout his body. His power only grew as he fought. Divine light exploded out of Long Chen and Jarishan's fists. Fluctuations surged out of them so violently that others couldn't breathe. I didn't expect you to have some ability. This should be fun. Jarishan was surprised but not afraid. He got excited. It's not just some ability Long Chen snorted. His leg suddenly kicked out like lightning. Jarishan didn't dodge. He allowed Long Chen's kick to land right on his abdomen. But what shocked everyone was that Long Chen's kick easily passed through Jarishan's abdomen. Barb suddenly grew out of Jarishan's abdomen, latching onto Long Chen's leg. Sparks flew as those barbs were unable to pierce Long Chen's leg. Long Chen hastily retreated, escaping this strange attack. Fortunately, the Azure Dragon Seal has a defensive state that can be instantly switched to. Looking at those sharp barbs, Long Chen was shocked. Jarishan's fighting style had surpassed the scope of a human body. He could not be judged according to normal standards. If caught off guard, one of his strange moves might end the battle in an instant. The Dragon King had said that because Long Chen wasn't a true dragon, he was unable to reach the point of activating both the offensive and defensive states. He could only switch between them. To have his defenses weakened when he attacked was definitely a large flaw. However, when he reached the point of perfectly controlling his dragon blood, the speed at which he could switch between the two states would be like lightning, making up for this flaw as much as possible. The fact that Long Chen had succeeded in switching to defense against this sudden move proved that his control over his dragon blood had reached an extremely high level. Long Chen, the more you struggle, the more pleased I'll feel when I kill you. Jarishan smiled sinisterly like a bloodthirsty beast. Long Chen suddenly laughed and shook his head. Let me put it to you this way. I don't even know how many idiots like you I've killed from the eastern wasteland to the central plains. They all had one thing in common, which was their conceited arrogance. They thought that everyone else in the world should kneel to them, as if they were gods in charge of this world. That's right. This world is precisely that way. The strong are venerated. Some people, such as myself are to be respected as the rulers of this world. The rest of you are just accessories to us, and your light is only created to accent our growth. A green leaf remains a green leaf no matter what. When it wants to compete with the red flower, it is seeking its own death, sneered Jarishan. Mo Nai enraged. Long Chen, what are you doing? I can't even endure this any longer. If you keep holding back, I'll take your place to kill this bastard. He's really hateful, noisy. Once I kill Long Chen, you'll be next. Jarishan suddenly summoned a pair of metal wings. 
They were as sharp as blades, and a thundering boom rang out every time they flapped. He shot toward Long Chen. I really can't endure your unchanging act. Long Chen finally lost his temper. Jarishan's arrogance was incomparably infuriating. A majestic dragon roar erupted. Long Chen's dragon blood began to thunder as it poured through his veins. A sharp pain filled Long Chen. This was the result of not being fully accustomed to his dragon blood's new power. Now that the Dragon King had made up for his original Azure Dragon Essence blood's deficiency, his power had leaped to a new level. If he could fight against Jarishan for a bit longer and slowly adjust to it, it wouldn't be so painful. But he was too enraged to be that patient. Jarishan was looking down on Long Chen and trying to force him to use up his energy without using his own trump cards. Why was that? because he wanted to exhaust Long Chen so that he wouldn't be able to run. His goal was not to beat him, but to kill him. It was just like how Long Chen had killed Tian Zizi. Long Chen had exhausted all his trump cards. Now Jarishan was doing the same thing to him. Long Chen no longer held back the power of the Azure Dragon. Blood Chi crashed and roared through his veins. Jarishan was like a shooting star smashing toward him. Long Chen unleashed a punch and Jarishan was sent flying back at ten times the speed. The earth exploded. People merely saw a flash, and then Long Chen also vanished. The earth continued to explode and collapse. People had never seen such a thing. This was no ordinary dirt. This was land that Jarishan had transformed into metal through his manifestation. There were countless ores linked together underground, with the earth continuously exploding. Large boulders were being thrown into the air. It was like the end of the world. One expert had just passed through the passageway to appear in this space when one of those flying boulders struck him. His divine item shattered and he exploded. Even his Yuan spirit was destroyed from the impact. Even as he died, he didn't know what had happened. The other experts were shocked to see that, and they ran over to the dragon corpse. There was an invisible barrier around it that allowed people to get close but those flying rocks were prevented from damaging the corpse. They were blown to smithereens before they could get close. Only Mo Nian remained standing in the air, ignoring those flying boulders. Boom. A figure suddenly charged out of the ground. It was Jarishan. His entire body was now covered in craters. His wings were completely deformed, as well as his head. One of his legs had been beaten into a fish hook, and the hook was bent in front of him. Jarishan was furious but there was now a trace of panic in his eyes. He had clearly suffered underground. He was flying out in order to escape his inferior position. However, he had barely flown out when another figure flew out. That figure was Long Chen, and he was even faster than Jarishan. The current Long Chen's scales had turned red. His blood chi seemed to have been ignited. Space was twisting wildly around him. Long Chen was now so fast that they could barely track him with their eyes. His leg whipped out, and Jarishan blocked with both his arms. Boom. Jarishan was then sent smashing into the ground once more. It was like a shooting star had crashed into a lake, and the earth unleashed a huge wave. This time, the sharp-sided experts saw that Jarishan's arms had been deformed, failing to block Long Chen's kick. Long Chen also managed to leave a deep footprint in Jarishan's face. Heavens, what kind of power is this? Most of the people present were supreme experts but had been hidden by their sects. They only came out at this critical moment to search for their own lucky chances. In terms of combat power, they had to admit that they were inferior to those at the apex like Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang. However, they were only one level weaker. The reason that they were low-key was so that others wouldn't be on guard against them, making it easier for them to find their own opportunities. However, as experts, they had their own pride. They had thought that even against the likes of Long Chen or Feng Fei, they would still be able to take whatever treasures they could find and flee from them. This was why they had come here fearlessly. However, after witnessing Long Chen and Jarishan's battle, those thoughts were extinguished. Every one of their movements possessed the power to destroy heaven and earth, let alone escaping. These experts probably weren't even able to receive a single attack. The shock waves from the battlefield might just be enough to wipe them out in an instant. Only now did they realize that they had overestimated themselves. The difference between them and Long Chen was too great. After smashing Jarishan underground again, Long Chen shot after him. 
He seemed unstoppable. However, the earth suddenly rippled. A giant fist and arm shot out of the ground, smashing into Long Chen. Compared to this fist, Long Chen was as small as a mosquito. Giant spirit breaks the heavens. Jarishan's furious howl came from underground, and brilliant multicolored light radiated out of the arm, blinding others. Jarishan was finally using his most powerful techniques. You can't even break a hair. Long Chen snorted and didn't stop. The appearance of this metal fist didn't seem to affect him at all. His body was covered in red runes, and he unleashed a punch at the enormous metal fist. A huge explosion shook the land. The aftermath of this exchange shook everyone. Chapter 2480 Smoothly making money The metal fist that was bigger than a mountain shattered into countless pieces. Not only was the fist shattered but the earth as well. Everyone clearly saw a metal giant that was beneath the ground break into multiple pieces. A piece that was thousands of meters long was half of its head. Those giant fragments tumbled through the air. A finger fell toward the dragon corpse and was knocked back by the barrier. One person's eyes lit up, and he took the risk of going outside the barrier, grabbing the finger. However, his expression quickly changed. He was unable to put it away. This one finger was too heavy for him to move. What good stuff. At this moment, Mo Nian also took action. Seeing a giant arm fragment flying over, he took out his bow. Divine light lit up as it struck the arm. The void rumbled. Using some unknown technique, Mo Nian managed to stop the arm's momentum and easily move it to his astral space. Damn. This is a kind of alloy formed from hundreds of immortal and divine metals. Mo Nian was delighted and quickly gathered up seven large fragments. One of them was the largest piece. A piece of the head. Bastard. You dare to snatch my source metal? I'll exterminate your entire family shouted Jarishan. Shocked upon seeing Mo Nian taking his giant spirit puppet's fragments. Idiot. Do you see anyone paying attention to you? Mo Nian sneered and flew toward another fragment. However, before he could take it, it melted into the ground. Mo Nian was startled to see that and hastily went to grab another fragment, only for the rest to all melt away. This place was Jarishan's domain. So petty. What's wrong with taking a few pieces of your rotten metal? Mo Nian curled his lips. Looking at the metal he had gathered in his astral space, he smiled. Those fragments were all treasures. In the distance, Feng Fei's heart pounded. She hadn't expected Long Chen's true power to be so great. Jarishan's giant spirit puppet was made of countless immortal metals. It was incredibly tough and powerful as it was the core of his manifestation's power. Jarishan's manifestation was no ordinary manifestation. All the immortal and divine metals within it had been gathered for him by the Zhao family. It made it look like Jarishan was very rich, as if he had the ability to summon metals as he wished. But of everyone present, only Feng Fei knew how wrong that was. Every time Jarishan fought, he was burning money. That was because he was exhausting the metals he had gathered. In order to keep up with that consumption, every time he went to a new place, he would gather the various metals in the ground. When he fought, he could transform the land into his manifestation, absorbing any ores for his own use. If there was enough ore, he could keep up with the demand. But if the earth was barren, he would have to burn up his own stock. Using up his stock was a painful thing for Jarishan, while his giant spirit puppet was essentially a condensation of all his stock. The reason he was able to turn the world into his manifestation was due to the metals he had gathered beforehand. The fragments of the giant spirit puppet that Mo Nian had taken were incredibly precious to him, and the fact that they were taken drove him crazy. Absorbing the outside world's metal and turning it into his source metal was a time-consuming process that required constant attention from him. Although Feng Fei had known that Long Chen was very powerful, she had always felt that he wasn't a match for her. That was her judgment as an expert. She had never been wrong before, but the fact that Long Chen had shattered Jarishan's giant spirit puppet made her feel like her judgment was no longer accurate. Perhaps she had to classify Long Chen as an expert on the same level as her. As for Long Chen, he seemed to be a wild dragon in human form. With a body of flesh and blood, he was crushing Jarishan's million metal body, completely suppressing him. Boom. Jarishan's arms exploded. Long Chen was unstoppable. His power only continued to grow. Jarishan, 
Can you summon your puppet out again? Don't worry, I have an understanding of Long Chen. He looks strong, but it's a cover. If you summon a few more of those puppets, he definitely won't be able to endure. I look favorably upon you, so don't disappoint me, encouraged Mo Nian. This encouragement was clearly lacking any good intentions. All he wanted was to take more of Jarishan's source metal. Other than Mo Nian, no one else had gained anything. Now, quite a few people tensed up in secret, thinking of how they might be able to sneak in some metal for themselves. Every part of Jarishan's puppet was a priceless treasure. Taking a single piece was invaluable. Don't hesitate. Listen to people's advice. Look at how badly you're being beaten. You don't seem much stronger than a dog like this. Hurry up and fight back. Live up to your name and summon your puppet, shouted Mo Nian. At this time, Jarishan was being continuously beaten back by Long Chen, unable to even retaliate. Every one of Long Chen's punches left a dent in his body. Jarishan was shocked and infuriated. Long Chen's power seemed limitless. Even after all this fighting, there were no signs of him starting to grow tired. Instead, his power grew. In his vexed state, Mo Nian's fanning of the flames made him feel like he would explode. Shut up. I don't need you to encourage me. Once I kill Long Chen, you're next, roared Jarishan. The distraction resulted in Long Chen landing a foot on his chest, leaving another large dent in his body. TCH. And you call yourself Rishan? What an arrogant name, sneered Mo Nian. Who can't Rishan? As long as you're a man. All you have to do is take off your pants and lay on your back. Do you think a badass name makes you amazing? With this name, I'm worried that you'll pass away today. 1. Nangong Zuayu and Bidang Rushuang reddened at how crass Mo Nian was speaking. Feng Fei also glared at Mo Nian icily. This was the first time anyone had dared to speak like this before her. Girl, what are you looking at? If you want my pure body, just give up. This body belongs to someone else, said Mo Nian in reply to Feng Fei's glare. Undaunted, Mo Nian, you had best reserve yourself a bit. Don't force me to kill you, said Feng Fei icily. Me, force you? Ha, ha ha, ha ha ha, what a great joke. Is there anyone in this world who dares to force the divine families to do anything? Isn't it always the divine families forcing others? I haven't even started settling the debt that the divine families owe the Mo family for harboring the ones who murdered our people. And you want me to reserve myself? The divine families really are interesting. Mo Nian laughed arrogantly. Although the last sneak attack against the Mo family had been mostly targeting Long Chen, it was an insult toward the Mo family. In fact, perhaps if they had been targeting the Mo family, Mo Nian wouldn't be so infuriated. But their only goal had been to force Long Chen out. The Mo family had actually been treated as an insignificant chess piece, and that was the greatest insult. Although Mo Nian hadn't mentioned that matter again, it didn't mean that he had forgotten about it. He was extremely vengeful. He was ready to avenge this matter when he had a chance. However, before he had even mentioned it, Feng Fei had further antagonized him, infuriating him. That matter has nothing to do with me. Don't act wild around me, said Feng Fei coldly. It has nothing to do with me, as expected of the shameless divine families. You cut yourself off from responsibility just by saying it has nothing to do with you. When they attacked the Mo family and my brother chased the killers to the D family's territory, who was it that stopped my brother? My brother doesn't like fighting women, but you still forced him to fight. Let me tell you, when I fight... I don't see a difference between men and women. There are only dead or living enemies. If you don't like it, let's fight right now. We can see if I'll have mercy on you like Long Chen did, said Mo Nian. The space behind Mo Nian began to shudder as his battle intent rose, causing everyone else to jump. Mo Nian was actually challenging Feng Fei. In the distance, Long Chen sighed. Mo Nian really had a skillful mouth. In his words, the draw between himself and Feng Fei had somehow turned into him having mercy on her. Feng Fei was also enraged now. When had she ever required someone to have mercy on her? Since you want to stand up for Long Chen, come over and fight. Killing intent blazed within Feng Fei. She was prepared to kill Mo Nian. Mo Nian smiled and was about to speak when space shuddered as another figure arrived. Mo Nian, 
You think you can challenge Senior Feng Fei? I, Di Feng, will handle you. Everyone was startled to see that the ancient family alliances Di Feng had arrived as well. 1. Rishan can be taken to be fuck the heavens, physically.